<laughs> we're just having a chat. Good morning, good morning. We're feeling a little bit meh. Good morning, good morning to you and you and you and you, Maggie. I'm so excited to be working with you. It's lovely to be with you, Lucy. Yes. yes. Well, we've decided we're, today we've both decided to coordinate outfits. We're going for the grey look, and we're both wearing very sensible shoes. That's what we've established before the show today. What we've also established, though, is Maggie is extraordinarily talented and the designs that you will see, I feel a little bit like we're not doing a normal morning show. I feel a little bit like we're going to be doing a designer inspiration show uh, a lot today because we have got some really, truly impressive, inspirational pieces of jewellery to show to you that you're going to be learning how to make throughout the show. So, we have got so much to bring to you, but throughout the show and uh, during our four hours live with you, you can text into six zero trouble seven. It would be fantastic to hear from you. If you want to make comment on anything that you see, if you just want us to say hello to you, is it your birthday today? We'd love to have contact with you. So, it's six zero trouble seven. Start your text message at JM Studio. If if you don't, then it will go to another TV studio that's nothing to do with us, and then they get your uh, lovely text, and we don't. Uh, so, JM Studio 60777. Now, I want to give you a little bit of a heads up on a few things that are coming up in today's show. First of all, oh my word, look at this. Oh, seriously now. Seriously now. Seriously. Isn't that just amazing? That's coming up within our first kit of today. Have you noticed the sheen coming off those incredible threads? We have got the sari threads in stock today. Now they come in packs of three. So we've got one pack, two pack, three packs. It is that way rather than that way, isn't it? Uh, one pack here. So that basically as they go down in the steps, you get top, middle and bottom. Uh, one pack. Two packs, three packs. Um, I cannot even begin to tell you how impressed I am by the quality of these, but also the price. I mean, they go under £10 for all three. It's absolutely crazy. How much do you get on each reel? I know you told me before, and I've forgotten. You get 370, so it's 125 metres. 125 metres on each reel. It wasn't that good maths. Kim, it was literally, she's like, well, you get 375 in a pack. So that's 125 on each reel. <laughs> that was your advice, yes. Um, they are the most amazing, exciting colours. Now, you can see that they've been incorporated. Look at this. Look. Look at this piece of jewellery. Look at this. Now, this is incorporating the sari silk and the sari threads as well as the gemstones that's part again of another amazing kit i have to warn you as well that in today's show i've got an absolutely mahoosive whopper stash building add it on to your order corker of a findings collection for you you can also see i've got an amazing little bag here actually it's not little at all it's a really great size tote bag perfect for storing all of your tools putting putting all your kit and caboodle in there you'll be able to bring masses around with you get you really organized and looking really professional also i've got an amazing cha challenge which we're going to be a little bit more vague on the challenge today i've got the pearl knotting tool coming up in just a moment it will sell out for your early bird it's going to be amazing uh, also to let you know the wire twister tool is back in stock we'll be bringing that to you later zavarite garnet i've got lots to tell you about this incredible gemstone very 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 exciting um, it's brand spanking new today. Zavarite Garnet is an extraordinary gemstone, extraordinarily rare. And I'll be telling you about that as we, bring, uh, as we bring that to you a little later in the show. I've also got some beautiful moonstone on its way, as well as some really zesty, vibrant spring colours of gemstones. 925 sterling silver wire also coming up, as you can see, within the 12 o'clock. In fact, let's have a look at our little plan of action once again. So within our first hour, we will be bringing one of the packs of your uh, sari thread which is the black the fuchsia and the mystic color it's actually our lowest out of all the stock for all of them so it's good to know that you should be able to get some at least one pack in today's show within the 10 o'clock hour the jewelry maker tote bag will be coming your way and at 11 o'clock the zavarite garnet will be a big feature for that hour and within the 12 o'clock hour goodness me a mega findings pack look how many findings approximately you're getting two thousand 400 and by the look on Maggie's face I think she's quite impressed with that she's like a would you like to do that look again there please Maggie I've forgotten what I did, what did oh, I so, well do? how about I just say it again I and mean, you'll see what your natural reaction is so 
<laughs> 2,400 findings. I'll tell you, you should get an Oscar for that. I should do, shouldn't I? Yeah. yeah. Oscar, BAFTA, we've got it all going on here at Jewelmaker. Right, we are of course award winning and one of the major things that we are really recognised for is the variety of the tools that we have. Here we have got this amazing tool. Now, um, <laughs> if you got the pearls in yesterday's show, this is a must have. It's called an easy knotter and I'm going to get it out of the box. Effectively, you know when we talk about pearl knotting, so you know what, or if you've ever bought a necklace before that's got a bead, a knot, a bead and a knot. To do the knots and to do them really tightly and precisely and really professionally, this is the tool that you need. Now, the great thing is, this isn't a tool that's going to wear down. It's not a tool that you're ever going to have to replace unless you lose it. Um, this is a tool that once you've got it, you have got it for life. Okay, so here's your pin in the centre. You've got a protective cover on it just here. It couldn't be easier to use. And the great thing is, it also comes with a mass of instructions in there, should you require them. Well, I'm saying instructions. It's literally two sides to talk you through. But what, effectively, what you are doing is putting your thread around the prong in the middle and it enables you to pull your knots incredibly tight because there's nothing worse than doing it by hand and the knot ends up even even two millimetres away from where you want it to be affects the look and the flow of a necklace, doesn't it? it certainly does. And even two millimetres can be quite a large step. Yeah. yeah. But especially depending on the size bead that you, if you're only using two millimetre beads, then <laughs> yes, it's going to look a little bit silly. Lopsided, yes. Lopsided, yeah, yeah that's a professional one, we'll go for the lopsidedness. Um, to say that this is proving to be popular already is an understatement, they're flying out. Um, once we have this in stock, they tend to go incredibly, incredibly quickly. Um, OJ bd40 is the code that you need, and have a look around, you can find this elsewhere. Have a look at our prices, we're exceptionally competitive. Now the great thing is as well, you can also use this with a variety of different materials. So you can use it with your sari threads that are coming up. You could actually even use it with your sari silks and your sari ribbon um, that we provide for you here. As well of course all the satin cords, as all the uh, wax cords. It's an absolute essential tool. You can actually also use it with your beading thread as well, and I have seen it incorporated within macrame. So it's going to be, oh my word, there are so many people on the phone lines. Don't worry if you're in a slight queue, we do know you're there. The great news is we've got a good quantity of these, and we're going to answer your order in the, I'm sorry, answer your call in the order that you call in. Free phone number 0800 644 How much is it, Kim? You need this tool in your life. You need it in your life. Are you going to sing that for me this morning, Mike? He'd rather not. Oh, not. I can, okay. I can try it if you want me to. I would like you to try it. Okay, here we go. He's actually even moved himself from behind the camera. He's given himself a stage. Yeah. Okay, you're going to have to project quite a lot because it'll have to go down my microphone, Mike. Are you ready? To sing, I, you need it in your life. Yes, go for it. Nice and loud. You need it in your life. I wasn't really singing, but I projected. So. It was beautiful singing, Mike, yeah. and I applaud you. How, was I not holding this tool? I would applaud you so much for that amazing little moment. Now, don't forget, of course, it is only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. Once again, that little knob comes off, and it reveals the prong that you require to then make your... Um, make your knots and it will be a case of getting these in exactly the right position that no matter how hard you try and and no matter how long you've been making jewelry for it's a precision of jewelry making that you need a tool for you do need a tool for it because the difference is if you knot it between your hands so say you thread a bead on and you just do a and you do a knot you'd have to slide it along and it sort of gets stuck and it's it's just a faff as well, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. It's so difficult to get things measured correctly as yeah. well. So that makes life just much, much easier. Yeah. Much easier and gives that professional look. Exactly. Well. And, and simple to use. Yeah. I think, uh, I think it's fair to say that <laughs> you need this in your life. Um, I would just go for it. Absolutely go for it. It's going to come to you in a box. It's going to come with full instructions as well. So don't worry if you haven't got the gist of it uh, and the idea of how you're using it here in the studio. Um, if I just show you, for example, 
number eight on here, I think that probably indicates quite clearly what you're able to achieve. Now, whether you wanted these knots millimetres apart or inches apart, you were able to set it precisely where you're wanting those knots to be. So, for example, a pearl necklace that we saw yesterday, it's referred to quite frequently as pearl knotting when you have a bead and a knot and a bead and a knot and a bead and a knot. This is exactly precisely the tool that you would be requiring. It also means that you can actually end up using a lot less binding. So if you're wanting the look of an illusion style necklace, or say you were wanting a bead and a large gap, and a bead and a large gap, and you had been relying on a crimp bead to keep that bead in place and to have, not have it sliding, that, this is just gonna, it's gonna save you money in the long run because you're not going to need as many findings. OJ. B D four zero. So your early bird catches the worm. Remember, this is an absolutely essential tool. So you do get all of your full instructions. You don't. It's got everything you need. This is by the company of uh, of Orini. Your easy not a tool. O J B D four zero. Here you go. At seventeen ninety five, this is going to be a purchase that you will never regret buying, and you'll be absolutely chuffed to bits with. And you'll think, how on earth have I gone so long jewelry making without one? Now, because of what we're featuring in today's show as well, it couldn't be a better time to buy it because these incredible sari threads, and they are the most stunning colours. You can achieve the looks you want to. You don't need much more going on if you're using that thread and beads, do you really? $17.95, you're still flying in. Now, once again, you are answered in the order that you call in. Press your option one to speak to the call center. And if you are shopping on our website, press that buy now button. Now, you do need to check out your baskets as you go along. If you just put something in your basket, it's not necessarily yours. And if we get to incredibly low stock or sell out, um, or the stock gets all allocated, it then starts to get allocated out of your basket. So please make sure. Oh, it's almost sold out. How many have we got left there, doll? Oh, got less than 20 of those now left in stock. We started out with a, a huge volume of those. Um, so 17.95. Now I'm going to move on to something else, which, Okay, so it's not essential, but it's absolutely lovely to have it. And that's 925 sterling silver. Now I have said time and time again that it's my chosen metal when I'm jewelry making with prestigious gemstones. So when I'm talking about prestigious gemstones, I'm talking about gemstone strands of distinction, such as the Savorite garnet, for instance. But also if you're just wanting that extra luxury, or if you have a customer, if you're making jewelry, or a relative or a friend you're making jewelry for, who has an allergy to anything other than a 925 selling silver, these are going to be touching the skin directly, so therefore it's a really valuable purchase to make. Now they are the toggle clasps. They are beautiful. The beauty of these toggle clasps, because they're so elegant as well, they can be a real feature, a part of the design. So say you were having an asymmetrical necklace, for example, Linda, one of our resident designers, does a lot of asymmetrical necklaces with a toggle clasp just on the side, or you have it right at the front for, a you can do lariat style necklaces. But also, you don't just need to see them as toggle clasps, they be make the basis of some really lovely cufflinks as well, because then you use them as you be hidden me, hidden me, and you can also use that as the part to go through um, the little hole for the cufflink. But then, and then you have a bead on the other end, or you can even use this part. I've picked up one rose gold and one yellow gold. I'll show you the difference in a minute. Um, as a frame. I mean, you can use that and then set polymer clay into it because you can fire these as well. You can see that you've got your marking on here uh, stating the 925. So you're going to be getting three in 925 sterling silver with the rose gold. And the rose gold actually is a little bit thicker. The rose gold 925 sterling silver is a 23 by 11 and a half millimeters. But it's, can you see it's quite thick? This is a quite a weighty amount of 925 sterling silver. We then go down to the um, pure silver itself. You just see there's an ever such a slight difference in the size. I mean, it's tiny. Now, the silver ones are only available in this bundle, just so you know. And then you've got the gold as well on the top. 0800 644655. Now, there are nine in total. Nine full clasps. 
Nine in total, three in the rose gold, three in the silver, three in the nine carat yellow gold. They are all 925 sterling silver as their base metal. They're all 925 sterling silver as the base metal and you should be paying just over 30, 30 pounds and 35 pence. Okay, 30 pounds and 35 pence. Oh, hello. Oh, you don't want me more than once. Once is dreadful, but there we go. Uh, so, which is great, which is absolutely great because if you work it out, you're looking at around about three pounds, three pounds 30-ish. Um, per toggle clasp, usually, okay? £3.30-ish per toggle clasp. Remember, there are 925 sterling silver with a precious metal overlay as well, or plate. There has never been a better time to get this bundle. It's never been to a lower price to get this bundle. It's on a first-come, first-served basis. Now, just so you know, the, tw the gold, 9 carat yellow gold on top of 925 sterling silver alone is usually 12.95. We are going to be giving this pack to Maggie today, and then she can have her hands on anything else that she would like to. Access to the bee scoops in our shop. She can use any of the threads, the sari threads. She can use whatever she likes, whatever tools, whatever beads. But we would like to see these in action. Now, it's a free phone number for you. It's only one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. They are absolutely gorgeous. If you're going to be making high-end jewellery, you m oh my word, phone lines are busy today. What are they, Mike? Very busy. Very busy. He's not singing anymore. That's lovely. Uh, free phone number 0800 644 655. Are you ready? 1995. Usually 30 pounds and 35 pence. Amazing. Uh, congratulations. And it makes sense that a lot of people are multi-buying this offer because when they are on offer, take advantage of it. It's never been um, a lower price than we're offering right now. This is the lowest price they've ever been to. And I do think if you are making jewellery to sell, or if you're making it on a professional level, or if you're making a special piece of jewellery, maybe you've got a Mother's Day piece of jewellery in mind, maybe you've got making bridal piece of jewellery, maybe you've got a special occasion that you're making a piece of jewellery for yourself or use this quality. <coughs> Excuse me. Free phone number 0800 644 655. I would say, oh gosh, I've got a lot of people multi buying this offer because it's a huge saving. It's a really huge saving. And again, you've got a 30 day money back guarantee on absolutely everything. So, once again, I mean, how much value are these going to add to your designs as well? So, 925 sterling silver with a 9 carat rose gold overlay. That's the first one. I'm going to pick up the yellow gold. Then you've got the 925 sterling silver with a 9 carat yellow gold overlay. Yep. And then you've also got a 925 pure sterling silver. As in, there's no other overlay. It is 925, it is 925, it is 925. So again, think about as well the fact that if you're going to be doing gents cufflinks, um, have you got these yet, Maggie? Or do you I need do. me to bring them over to you? I you have, have you have, fabulous. I'm going to mosey on down to Maggie Town. And uh, for those people who have not met Maggie before, I'm going to interrogate her. Oh no, no. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so Maggie, how yes. long have you been making jewellery? About five or six years. Yeah. Yeah. And so have you been involved with other crafts? Are you a crafty person? Oh, I've always done crafts. Even when I was a child, I did crafts. Uh, all sorts of things, sewing, knitting, various other types of, you know, using polymer clay back in those days. All sorts of bits and pieces. And then I went to college and did textile design. I've so I've done Do you know what that shows? Because within the pieces that you'll see today, you can see there's very much a, a textile design mind to it. And also a crossover of crafts. Very much so. I think there's a lot of this happening now. Yeah. Uh, and I think people who perhaps are card makers are now moving into jewellery, or people who do knitting are realising they can use their knitting skills to create jewellery pieces as well. And in fact, we've got a huge focal point um, of today's show will be a crocheted piece that's absolutely amazing. And, uh, and gosh, and just, yeah, lots of different elements of different types of crafting that you'll see brought in today's show so in terms of your challenge yes now we have never really done this before when we've just said here you go here's some findings do <laughs> and use whatever you like so as much as it's exciting that's a, bit, a little bit daunting as well isn't it it's just so wide isn't it yes 
I can do whatever I like. It's really almost like scary. Yeah. <laughs> so so yes, yeah, so what I'll need to do is, is narrow down. I'll go out and have a look at the bead scoops in a minute, see what yeah. exciting gemstones I can find, and then take it from there. See what I can. And the great thing is, I've got the silver and the yellow gold and the rose gold, so I've got three different lots to work with. And so you're already starting on Kumihimo. I'm already starting on some Kumihimo, yes. The and we are going to be focusing a little bit on some Kumihimo today. I mean, we've got the most ridiculous offer coming up later, quite honestly. Oh, now then, check this out and your little scribbly doodles. Ah, uh, yes. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a 12 thread Kumihimo. Great. Most people start off doing, doing eight threads, but I'm going to do a 12 thread. So I think it just gives a slightly different appeal, slightly different look. So Exciting. I've done a sort of little kind of crib sheet here to remind myself what goes where. Great. Uh, and the handy thing is, you know, people can obviously pick this up as well, scribble it down. What Fine. I did was I used my, I scanned my um, Kumihimo disc into the computer and printed it out. So it's printed out incredibly large, but that's okay. I can do it without my specs on that. What a great idea. I think it just makes it a wee bit easier, doesn't Definitely. it? Definitely. I think yeah. we need to put one of those. Can we put one of these on our, our website, please? Yes, we're going to do that. So you, then you can print one out and you'll be able to copy Maggie's designs because when our designers come here, they basically give their ideas to you, which is just <laughs> the ace. And in terms of gemstones that you've already mm. chosen here, some I'm amazing using little hematites. Yes, they're lovely, aren't they? I'm not quite sure what sort of gemstone they are, but they're, they're yeah, beautiful. beautiful. And really I sparkly and they work so nicely with a sari thread. <gasps> oh, no, the sari don't, don't, thread. Don't give me talk about the sari thread. It's no, we're a little bit it's obsessed. It's just like, <laughs> oh, it's like magpie. It is. Maggie Magpie thread. It is, absolutely. I'm going to rename it. Maggie Magpie. <laughs> it's yes. fabulous. I just can't get over it. It's, it's so versatile. You can do so much with it. You can do jewellery with it. You can do other crafts with it. And your first bundle is just really an interesting colour. And it's only under £10 for three. Uh, I'm going to leave you to it. Okay, so, do you need a cup of tea or anything? I'm fine at the moment, I'm but sorry, I'll have one later. Oh, I'll get one later. Do you know what? Amelia's fab. She's, I think she's like... No, I know, I'd love to make it. I was just offering Amelia's services there, really, wasn't I? But I've got to say that I've worked with a lot of floor managers in my time, and Amelia is by far the nuttiest. Oh, <laughs> and the best. We just love her. Would you like to come and make your presence known? Yes, of course you would. Uh, Amelia yesterday decided she was our resident cat. Yeah. yeah. Did you have a nice night last night, Amelia? I am exhausted. I got two hours sleep. I did. What were you doing last night? I was cleaning. Yeah, I'm not OCD or anything. I just um, got some friends coming to stay. I'm going to the Isle of Wight tonight. Yay! Yes. I don't yeah. understand. Yeah. Why were you cleaning if you're going away? Because we get back at 5 p.m. on Sunday, and friends are coming around tonight. Then. Then. Okay, well that's very exciting, yeah. Amelia. I'm going to walk an alpaca. Yeah. You're going to walk yes. an alpaca. Alpaca trekking. Alpaca. You're going alpaca trekking. Yes. I've done that in Wales. It's amazing. Oh, is it good? Mm. That's so cute. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they're, yeah, they're, 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 yeah. I don't know if cute's the right word I'd use now. I spent oh, really? so much time with one. Anyway, that's Amelia, everybody. No doubt we'll have contact with her again later in the show. Right. In terms of jewellery making, how many of you are selling? How many of you are giving gifts for jewellery making? How many of you have made beautiful pieces of jewellery for yourself and haven't got beautiful places to keep them in? Well, this is where our amazing gift boxes come in. Have you had a look around and seen the prices of gift boxes? Because I've done a price comparison for you. There's a very well-known high street shop uh, that sells cards and gifts. And to find a gift box like this, okay, along a similar line, Without such a luxurious, a luxurious ribbon, how much do you think one of these was? How much do you think? Um, it measures seven and a half by seven and a half by nine centimeters. Okay, how much do you think? Yeah, oh, Chloe, you're really, really, really close. Chloe's a guest at 3 99 Kim? Chloe is my director, folks, and Kim is my producer. Kim's saying £4.20 for one of these. We're talking about one of these. Maggie, have you had contact with boxes like this? No, I, that, the first time I've seen them was on here, and I think they look oh, okay. absolutely gorgeous. They're, they're yeah. chic, aren't they? They're, they're just classy. so much 
different to anything else you've got out there really beautiful. yeah really classy well there is a place that I found a similar one and uh, it was three pounds 95 for one just the box the ribbon wasn't as luxurious as this it was nice it was nice but look at this I actually think this is really be lovely as well if you just put some little chocolates and tissue in it I think it would look gorgeous but look 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 how cool is that now I also think that these would be lovely to put some little flowers into if you get a dinky little vase and then put some little flowers in and then wrap the ribbon around there instead. I just thought it'd be a really nice little gift idea. Um, I think you should stock up on these because they're so versatile. They've got so many ideas, ready? So that springs out, so you just pop it in there. Remember, within your kits, you do get, now they do go flat as well, hang on. Do I squash it? I know I squash it one way, and oh, that's it, yeah. So, like this. And you literally go, I'm saying literally, I just did it a second ago, didn't I? I'm really aware I don't want to crush it. Oh, do you know what? It's really obvious when you look at it, because you can see the jagged side there. Mm -hmm. It's very easy to do. Incredibly easy to do. Incredibly easy to do. So if you've got a craft store, I mean, you can literally just stock up on these. Now, the great thing is as well, we've taken on uh, board what you've said about some other gift boxes that we've had, and they don't have any sticky labels on because we have had a problem in the past. I'll be really honest with you. I had a problem in the past where it came with item codes stuck on, and then when you tried to take it off, it was just rubbish. Um, so there are no item codes on these whatsoever. So you're going to get one in the large white. I do think we should have some little chocolates and some jewellery in there. How gorgeous these are. So classy. One in the black and white, and they're the large ones. Then you've got two smaller ones, which are five by five by seven and a half on these. Um, and again, they work in exactly the same way. So if we just open up this, they twist open, have a look underneath. You can see which way they fold, and they go completely flat and that's great if you need to take them to a craft fair if you're going to be um for example i'm going to be making some pieces of jewelry for my husband he's going away to um unfortunately we've got family who are quite poorly in new zealand uh, where he's from so he's going to be going over there taking some gifts well how brilliant if you're going to be traveling with gifts as well he can take the gifts um, jewellery flat the boxes can fold up flat it means the boxes are going to look beautiful when they arrive at their venue because they can just then be really easily assembled and it also means that there's less space taken up with them so too large too small let's see how many people are already on the phone lines for these so on average between 295 and 395 for one of the large ones I would honestly say get more than one of these boxes one of these offers you get all four for £5.95. All four for £5.95, less than £1.50 a box. So incredibly competitive. We've not been able to find this quality at this price anywhere else. £5.95. It's on a first come, first serve basis. Congratulations to those of you who've got them. If you are starting to dial in, make sure you are pressing your option one and speaking to the call centre. And if you are wanting to uh, add on to your order, of course, remember it's only one post and packaging price all day. These are going to be great for no matter what crafts you're going to be doing. They're going to be great if you're wanting to give gifts away, if you make your own chocolates, if you want to do a little bouquet of flowers, if perhaps you have got sets of jewellery. Um, they are absolutely fab. And I do think as well, they're unisex. They're really, really, really classy. Really classy. 5 95 We'll leave those with you. The code is SNGC64. Okay, should we go to our first kit? Maggie, please may I ask you to place the first kit on the table. She just went. <laughs> Thanks! I love the fact that you're trotting around <laughs> like you. <laughs> Bad news. The quantity is not great. Great news, great price, ridiculously gorgeous. I mean, this is a gorgeous, 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 gorgeous kit. You have got, sorry, I've got a sneeze brewing. You've got the most amazing bonus gift with it as well. But look at this first piece of jewelry that has been made. Look at it, look at it, look at it. Feel free to text in your comments to 6077. And of course, if you get, it's your standard network charges. So if you usually get free text messages, it's gonna be free. They are apps. Look, 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 look. This is gorgeous. This is absolutely stunning. Now, can you see that you have the typical Kumihimo 
ends on this. We're going to be giving all of those as a free bonus gift in the kit today. So this kit is probably one of our largest value for money, largest contents kit. Now, the whole of the contents of the kit, if it was all bought individually, would call to come to £49.10. and pence. Just to let you know, the silk that has been used, sorry, the threads, uh, apologies, the sari threads that have been used in this design don't come in the kit, but we are going to be doing them straight after the kit, okay? That's the, uh, that's the, the thread that has been used. It's coming up straight after. The thread for three lots, it's under £10 anyway. In fact, I'll tell you now, it's going to £6.95. I know, I know, I know, I know. So don't worry because the price of everything, don't worry, you'll be able to get it. It's going to be amazing. So first of all, let's focus on this. You are going to be getting, and even if you've never used it before, we're going to be focusing in on having a look on how you can use it. These are your sari ribbons, okay? So rather than the sari silks, which are larger pieces, these are the sari ribbons. Now, Amelia, do you have a pair of scissors there, please, hon? I can just borrow a second. You do indeed, you do indeed. Thank you very kindly, darling. Okay. Bear with, bear with, bear with. Um. <laughs> right. <laughs> Don't know why I had to do that soundtrack then. I do. There's so many different ways that you can use this. I just think that would make the most amazing curtain tie back, <laughs> wouldn't it? Those all together. Probably not with the thread that was holding together. It's the most beautiful colour gorgeous rich 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 tones so these are your sari ribbons that are going to be coming your way fab 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 quantity of those and you're going to be getting just bear with me a second i've got some more details on this uh have i got a weight on this 100 grams thank you now you're also going to be getting all of your threading materials. We're going under £30. I know, I know, I know. Now, with your findings, you're going to be getting one of the, pack, the packs of findings that have got 115 findings in. Now, that's a metre of chain. You've got 45 different types of uh, head pins. Well, you've got 15 head pins. You've got... 30 ball head pins there as well. You've got uh, 15 which are flat, 50, uh, 40, sorry, 30 which have got the little balls on. 15 of which are slightly slimmer, but they're all five centimeters in length. Then you've got the ribbon cord ends with the S toggle on there, sorry, the S clasp on there. You've got two toggle clasps. You've got that beautiful connector. Can you see that on the right hand side below the shepherd hook earring hooks? Then you've got all of your jump rings and then you've got these gorgeous, um, I absolutely adore these little rings here. Look at these. Look at the texture on them. They're beautiful. They're rope style. Aren't they lovely? Um, I know I was going on about this toggle clasp on yesterday's show as well, but let me just show you this because I think it is just so stunning. It's going to add so much to the jewellery. Okay, have a look then at the genuine gemstones. Remember, these are real gemstones they're real gemstones the piece that i've got here look 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 the piece that i've got here isn't this just absolutely exquisite that holds the clear quartz now they're approximately five by three millimeters and it just gives the most amazing sparkle we will be going over to see the jewelry that maggie has made in just a moment but then if we just continue on i've got the amazing pink poppy quartz and they are quenched crackled quartz so they're completely drenched and saturated in color they're gorgeous and they've got that crackle quality which means they've got amazing sparkle rose quartz now rose quartz just here which are six millimeters these are a 10 by 8 and then these are a six are absolutely stunning and then this strand which earlier i've got to be honest i thought was hematite is in fact a coated black onyx and they're a faceted rondel uh, sorry they're a faceted um they're a faceted round. They're amazing, aren't they? They're absolutely amazing. WQGC45. Now, within this, it's got that spectacular collection of stunning sparkle and elegance and beauty of the colours. You're also going to be getting a bonus gift. In fact, I think we should bring the price in and then I'm going to show you the bonus gift. Okay? Should be £49.10. and pence. And it's on a first-come, first-served basis at 29 95 
absolutely exquisite when you get the sari ribbon, you get all the beading thread. It's a four strand kit, 115 findings, and then your bonus gift. Check this out. These are your essential Kumihimo findings for the ends. So if I show these to you here. Now these are brilliant for your cord ends. When you've done your Kumihimo, they're great for your cord ends. There's lots of different ways that you can use them. And there's some dinky ones. Okay, fab, 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 fab. And then you've also got these. These are all included. These are all your bonus gift today. So one, two, we've got a Kumihimo bundle coming up as well that these are perfect for. So four of these, which are for connecting your charms. You can use them in so many different ways. If you make fabulous talks with wire, actually, these are lovely over the talk and to have a gemstone just dangling from. And then you've also got um, loads more jump rings and three, four, uh, extra toggle clasps as well. Free phone number 0800 644 655. How are we doing on start levels, Kimbo? Got an all right amount. Um, just to let you know as well, with the um, with the extra jump rings that you're going to be getting, look at the shape of them. They're actually oval. Little oval ones, aren't they cute? Okay, so we're going to go over to Maggie and see how she's used the kit. I'm also going to take the gemstones over with me. There's a lot of you getting involved with this, so make sure you are checking out your baskets. I've got a lot of people with it in the baskets. This, I'm having this. No, you're not. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking it away with me. No, I'm having it. Okay, I'll let you have it then. Right. Oh. It's because nice it's what you're wearing. because I kicked under the table the fact that we're wearing similar <laughs> colours. It's actually lovely with what you're wearing, so there we go. Uh, I'll have it anyway. Uh, <laughs> no, I'll have all of these. They're beautiful. So talk us through. You got this kit, mm. and what were your first thoughts? I mean, well, well where, first, where did you start? Well, firstly, it was a colour. I mean, uh, so I thought, you know, well, pinks are gorgeous. Who doesn't like pink? And then a pi those little uh, pear-shaped pink gemstones are absolutely beautiful. So I was really a bit stunned with them. I yeah, thought, they are. Use Look them? at those. What would be a nice way of using them? So I started off with a piece you've got there. Started off, um, and I thought I'll use the pink sari ri ribbon. Yeah, I'll use that in the kimo kimo kumi hemo. Um, you know the, the words I mean, don't the kumi you? Kumi hemo. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, it's like I couldn't say it for months. <laughs> It's one of those get your teeth in jobbies. So this so you've used the kumihimo ribbon. So I've used ribbon. two strands of that and yeah. six strands of the pink and the black sari thread. Yeah. And the sari thread we're going to be doing imminently. It will yeah. be the most amazing deal for th and it's it is the lowest stock out of all of them. I've got to warn you, we're, we're quite low in stock on it. Um, so that was the one that you start off with. So if I yeah. just draw your eye to these, mm -hmm. this is the strand that has been used in order to create that gorgeous tassel. Now, if you have a look at the top pair, there's your bonus gift, part of one, or one of the items of the bonus gift that's just there. If I can show you the back of this piece as well, because I do like to show you the way that pieces have been finished off, because then it's sensical, isn't it? You can see how it all happens. Um, you can see that, again, a part of your bonus gift, that everything that you see there, actually. Gorgeous, so Kumihimo. Yeah, so I mean the great thing is there's four different sizes of the Kumihimo end caps in there as well. So if you're doing something thicker, you can select the right size of cap. If you're doing something a little bit finer, less threads, then you can select the right cap as also. So once you've done it and yeah. you put the threads into the Kumihimo caps, yes. what type of glue are you using? Ah, no, I had quite great fun with glue. I started off using textile glue because I thought that would be appropriate with the sort of kit this is. And it didn't really stick it properly. I think it's because of the metallic elements. So okay. I, I just use a clear buy in the supermarket off the shelves glue eventually and it did the job. Just like an epoxy two parts something or other no, or just, just literally part, just this sort of stuff I don't it sometimes comes in a yellow tube it sometimes comes in a pink tube that sort of normal clear glue, glue that Fab. everybody uses. Great. And that did the job best of all so so yeah and with the, the carriers as well and the, kumi, with the end caps and the kumihimo carriers I really wanted to use that and emphasize that as well. I mean, they are so elegant. They're just very, very simple. Pretty. Really pretty. Oh, we've had a little message in. Uh, I bought super duper stuff from you yesterday, so must be good today. Uh, but this kit looks fabaroony. Uh, Amelia is funny. <laughs> That's from Maxine in Cambridge. Uh, somebody thinks you're funny, Amelia. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no, we do. So thank you for spending the time to set that in. Uh, get the kit. Do you know what? You live once. Just get it. <laughs> just get it. Oh, I'll have it. It's twenty nine ninety five. It's you know. Just have it. There's so I much think, in it. I'd like to say you'd be a nicer person for it, but I can't guarantee that to be the case. But you might just be, you know, and you. I can find any excuse to buy a kit. Um, so if I can just show you these two bracelets now, these two here, and then I'm coming to this, which is so designer. Look at these. So the difference between the two of these is literally just the thickness and then the different type of bead you've used. That's it, and the, and the type of uh, braiding technique as well. Oh, so the everything one, really. <laughs> so, <laughs> no, they, all use, they all use the sari thread, or they both use the sari thread. And, Again, the uh, sari thread's going to be coming up yeah. in just a moment. So I've used the darker beads on the, on the one on the left hand side, that one there, uh, and that's using eight threads, eight cords. So, so that's a that's typical this one here. Yeah. Okay. And that's using one bead for on on just one of the eight strands. And then the one next to it is using 12 mm. strands mm -hmm. and that's using beads on two of the 12 strands. Amazing. Beads on two of the strands. Yes. Okay. And then these incredibly elegant earrings. They're so simple, they're so chic. And what's striking me as well is you must have masses of findings left over. Oh, I've got yeah, I've got masses of loads of things left over. Oh here. gosh, yes. Uh, Almost Fab. a full pack of findings, quite a lot of beads, about half of each amount of beads there. There's loads to go at. I mean, it's a really generous kit. So there's tons and tons and tons left oh, over. Tons of and then look at one. this. How fab is that going to look with a maxi dress mm. in the summer, flip flops, just being a little bit fabulous with a big fabulous designer esque handbag <laughs> on the arm, sunglasses on your head, oversized sunglasses maybe on but your back. Have to be big, oh, yeah. I'm yeah. yeah. It's huge. Sort of a boho chic mm. Sienna mm. Miller eat your heart out piece. Love it. Absolutely love it. And there's so much left of the sari thread afterwards. I, I can imagine so that goes on for like donkeys. It donkey goes on forever years. and ever, yes. So what technique are you going to show to us? I was going to show the, the 12 strand kumihimo. Great. Yeah. So that's also the same technique that you're going to be using in your challenge today, the 12 strand, is it? Oh, I don't know yet. I haven't decided on that yet. Oh, well, I've been too busy doing this. I'm, oh, I'm so sorry. sorry. Me? Oh, sorry. <laughs> I'm just, you know what I'll do? I'll end up 12 o'clock. I'll be dashing off doing the challenge. When yeah, I no, be doing that's it cool. No, it's we're gas bagging. It's great. And we've got lots of questions coming in, I think, as well. So, uh, oh, right. Yeah, put you on the spot. Don't be difficult with me, please, please. <laughs> <laughs> so, shall I? Do you want me to do this? Now? Yeah, that yeah. would be brilliant. Please, okay. thank you. So, as you can see, I've concentrated very much on using the sari thread. Yep. Which I love. In case you haven't got it, folks, I love this thread. I think it's so versatile. Uh, and I'm doing it with 12. So if I turn it round to the camera that way, would that, is that okay? Can that be picked up all right? Yeah, in fact, we're going yeah. to be doing it under camera five, I think, as all well. Right. So if you want to move it over sort of that way, that'll okay. be spot on. Excellent. Thank you. Right, so I've set it up with two just slightly offset at the top on either side. Yep. Uh, so you're leaving two notches in between each space here. At now the this top is the Kumihimo disc. Are, we, are you oh, bringing that to you uh, within the? Yeah, after the Wall of Fame. Yes, yeah. yeah so, so this will be later. coming up with the the actual disc that Maggie has used. So this here is going to come up after the Wall of Fame. Yeah. So you've got your eight threads here. Yes. Those are each about about ninety centimeters to a meter long, and there's there's four thicknesses in each one. I use those bobbins, by the way, because they just prevent things Great getting idea. tangled up. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so there's four threads on each one. And just to let you know, so 90 centimetres for each one, and then you are going to get 125 metres on each coil. Fantastic. Amazing. Yep. Ridiculous. Fabulous. So then on the black ones, on the, well, it's the top one for me, this one here, I've threaded some beads. Now, in a moment of madness, I've threaded black beads instead of the clear beads, but it still shows the same technique. Okay. Yep. So that's on the top one, and the same on, ah, sorry, I've started working it, that's why that's at the same side. So you do that on one of them, start off the two top ones there, then each time you flip over the black ones, then you're going to introduce a bead to it also. Okay. So if I were to start, start on this side, you take your bottom left, you take it up to your top left. Yeah. Yep. You then take your top right and bring it down to your bottom right of that half of the board. Does yeah. Yep. 
I find with chemo hemo you have to do it. And once you do it, you can get into a you rhythm get, with yeah, it. I was going to say exactly that. It's yeah. a rhythm thing, yeah. Then on the other, the other strands on the right hand side, the bottom left goes up to the top left, and the top right comes down to the bottom right. Yep. yep. I'll complete the, the pass of it just to show you. You then take your black thread, which is going horizontally, and what I'm doing now is I'm sliding a bead down it. So you can see there's one little bead coming down. I've threaded the beads already onto one of the strands. Slide it down, tuck it underneath, yep, and then take that thread over. Then just use your thumb to make sure it doesn't come back up again. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Over here, and then take this one, and that goes to the bottom of the other side. And that's one pass. So that's one repeat of it. Yep, shall I do that again? Yeah, and I just want to say as well, if if you're thinking, oh, I don't know, am I getting all this? Oh, I'm only seeing this quick demo. Remember, you can watch the show again on YouTube, but we also have DVD tutorials available for you. They're only four ninety five. They're hour long DVDs, and they take you through so many of the processes. You can either speak to the call centre or have a look on our website for those. And um, also, there's lots of different tutorials on YouTube. But um, I would definitely say this this is a technique that once you've got it, it is addictive. It's, oh, it, yes, you can do it for sitting in front of the TV or anything. Yeah, yeah. also you can do it on um, on plane journeys, which you can't do. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Uh, the reason yes. I was talking about this, I was talking to Steve, who uh, is obviously one of the owners of the company yesterday, and we were talking about jewellery making on mm -hmm. a plane and the fact you can't take tools, etc. on. So it's something to think that's about. Or even um, it, when you're waiting, it can, it's something that once it's assembled, it's there. Is so you can put it in your handbag, you can put it in your big tote bag that we're going to be doing later. You know, if you're waiting for children at the school gates, if you've got a wait, if you're going on a train, that sort of thing, it's just sort of all self-contained. It's Absolutely. easy, isn't it? Absolutely, that's a really good, really good point, yes. Mm. I do have them occasionally. <laughs> <laughs> so it's bottom, bottom left to top, left, top to there. So I'm dealing with each half of it. Now, I find it really strange going slowly because I'm so used to working up fairly quickly with them, you know, when you get into the, into the rhythm of it. Can you show us full speed? Can I show you full speed? Oh. Yeah. Don't Why? be intimidated. You don't have to do this at this speed. It's a bit like knitting. Once you get into knitting, you try to do it slowly. It's, it's really, really difficult. Look, you don't even have to look what you're doing. This is amazing. What? At this? Yeah. Like knitting. Yeah. <laughs> well, what you're doing is, you, you know, you're, you're, you're following a natural rhythm with it you know you're taking one across taking it back again the other side remember you don't have to go this quick but once you don't sort of you have to slow down to put your beads on so again popping the bead underneath taking it over it always reminds me of jellyfish right the sort of tentacles hanging down from it <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no I get you now <laughs> 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 you wondered what I was going to say. Yeah, I did, you? totally. Yes. Well, oh, where are we going with this? She's been affected this morning, obviously, you thought. Fab. Morning show. <laughs> Too much for her. Well, we are having a ridiculous amount of texts to say. We've only got 10 left of the kit, just so you know. We have got a ridiculous amount of text saying, When are you going to do the ribbon? Uh, sorry, the threads. When are you going to do the threads? When are, you do are you doing the threads yet? I, got, I need to go out. Can you do the threads? Yes, we're going to do them in just a moment. But we've got one of the kit left. Now, just to remind you, the whole contents of the kit should be at £49.10. and Today, it's literally the last 10 remaining now at £29.95. Four strands of genuine gemstones that are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And your bonus gift of all your Kimi Hemo ends. 115 findings and sari ribbon as well. 29.95. Now we've got a couple of people with it sat in their baskets. If you don't check out, it's not going to be yours. Now, just before we do mm. the sari thread, can we just have a look underneath so we can see what yes, is cooking? Yes, of course you can. Yes. Look at it. Look. So you can see it beginning to build up here. Is that okay? Uh, amazing. I've just used a big big clip to hold it all together because okay. that will be cut off later on. So you can see, hopefully just see the, the beads beginning to spiral round. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you can do it with less beads, you can do it with more beads. Um, I felt that was sort of an okay kind of weight of beads to use. Um, I suppose yeah, with a lot of this it will just be keep trial and error and have a play. Yeah, there's some, yeah. You can always yeah. cut it up and unravel it and start again. You can if you really want, yeah. Great. So shall we do those threads? 
Right, let's do it now. I am so excited. The kit is stunning. There is an extra little something something uh, with the threads that have been brought in. Now, please be on the phone lines straight away. As soon as those graphics come on screen, we're just going to give you a couple of seconds to get on those phone lines. So you've got the black, the fuchsia pink, and then the most amazing colour. What's this colour classified as, please, Kim? It's just like, I want to call it like, it's mystic. It's like fairy wings. It is, isn't it? It's got yeah. a, a pink sheen in some lights and a clear sheen in other lights and white in other lights. It's lovely. Can we get a close-up on that, please? It looks so much better in real life. It does. It looks so much more beautiful in real life than it does on camera. It's got an amazing sheen on it. It very much is... Um, oh, it's... Yeah, the TV's not doing this just at all. I wonder if I... Yeah, if, can you see... Now I'm shading it slightly. Can you see those colours are coming through a little bit more? It's like a moonstone thread, isn't it? Oh, 800, six double four, six double five. Okay, are you ready? You're going to be getting, you can start dialing now. I'm going to see the call screens, keep an eye on what's going on. Sandy, you're the first one in to confirm yours. Congratulations, these are going to start so quickly. Now you get 125 metres on each spool. So you've got the Mystic, you've got that amazing Fuchsia and you've got the Black. We've got lots of you on the phone lines. You're answered in the order that you call in. I have warned you already, there's 375 metres in total. They are so beautiful. They're so, 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 so beautiful. They're incredibly lovely to work with. They feel stunning in your hands as well. Um, Apparently we've got a, a huge abundance of, my screen's not working in the studio unfortunately, but the one in the gallery is, uh, and apparently we are absolutely, um, pardon? It's now across three screens, the amount of people that have just suddenly called in for this. If you are wanting to shop on the website, make sure you're checking out your basket immediately. 6 95 for all three spools. It's absolutely amazing value for money. If you've got it in your basket, check out immediately. Unfortunately, we have the least amount of stock of this colorway. Uh, we have got green, red, and silver, and then the different hues of metallics of the bronze, like a coppery tone and almost like a rose gold metallic feel coming up for you a little bit later as well. A huge of congratulations to all of you. Um, if you haven't yet checked out your basket, press that buy now button now because it's almost all gone. We've got 20 left and we've got more people on the phone lines and lots of you sat with it in your baskets. I know I keep going on about please check out your basket, but please check out your basket. If you want more than one of these, remember you can do so. Um, just up your order immediately. You need to be buying it now because we're about to go to the Wall of Fame. When we come back after the Wall of Fame, actually, we're going to do the Kumihimo uh, board. We've got an amazing offer uh, on, uh, on that for you. We've only got five of those left. We're going to leave it with you, scrap it out, and we'll go to the Wall of Fame. Let's go. Which camera do we point this out? Sharon in Essex. Check it out. Hi JM, here is my first ever entry to the Wall of Fame, but it's not made by me or a piece of jewellery. It was made by my 11 year old daughter Olivia and it's her geography project to build a town showing the differences when it was made over time. I love it. She made all the buildings, trees and bushes using polymer clay from JM and she came to her first class, um, she came first in her class for this project. We really need a win as our polymer clay stash is looking a bit empty. Good luck to everyone in this week's Wall of Fame, Sharon in Essex. Olivia, congratulations. That's for me. That's not that fabulous. fabulous. You see, we talk a lot about the versatility of polymer clay and here is the proof. Good luck to you, and you are 389. Okay, over to you, Maggie. Right, I'm on 390. This is from Sue, somewhere. Is that it? Okay. Dear JM, I was lucky enough to win the Wall of Fame a couple of weeks ago, and I treated myself to the Lazy Daisy as well as other goodies. Mm. This is my first attempt at a simple bracelet made with 0.4 silver copper wire with a core of 0.8 millimetre wire. Was pleased with the result. Thank you, GM. And that's Sue in the Isle of Wight. That's fabulous. Isn't it? First isn't attempt. It first attempt. Isn't that great? 
Yeah, she's done really well there. Yeah, Lazy Daisy, that, yeah. that feather was, was an advert you'd be here, dear. Or an advertisement to get that tool, here it is. <laughs> Fabulous. <laughs> really fab. A nice photograph as well. Yeah, great yeah. photo. Yeah. It's lovely to see it sort of laid out like that, as is this. I mean, look at the colours on this one here. This is 391. How lovely. Lynn Edwards, Lynn, you spell your name like my mum. Double N-E. <laughs> Hi everyone, here's my entry for this week. It's dyed magnesiting crosses, rondelles and cubes. I made this while sitting on the balcony of our latest cruise. Excuse me, darling, how fabulous. Such a hard life, once retired, she says. <laughs> Keep up the good deal so I can afford the next one. Good luck to everyone. Lyd, Lyd, sorry, Lynn Edwards in Cinderford. That's gorgeous, great colour colours, colours yeah. yeah. And the rose gold works really yeah, nicely with it, nice, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Yep. Yeah, 391, good luck. Right, 392. So this is from Jill, Jill Greedaway, uh, who's at Briarley Hill. Where's Briarley Hill? I do know where that is and I've forgotten where that right. is. Please see my latest make. I'm just learning Viking knit. I've got another Viking knit. And made those bracelets for a friend to give us birthday presents. Lucky friends. I reckon. Mm. All the wire, gems and charms used are from JM. I need a win so I can attend a course, so please pick my ticket. Thank you. That's from Jill. <laughs> we, 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 can, we can't guarantee it, Jill, but you'll <laughs> certainly be in with as much chance as everybody else. <laughs> Good luck to you, uh, 392. And the final one for now is 393. Really classy, really classy. This is from Susan. Hi, look, JM. Here's my entry for the Wall of Fame. My first entry. Oh, well done. Welcome. I've been, I have been growing my sash for months after finding JM whilst channel hopping. I was nervous about you. Using, uh, using sorry the beautiful beads and findings and this is my first attempt at stringing pearls the 11 by 10 millimeter pearls look beautiful with the gold plated 95 stunning silver findings all from JM I was so pleased at the results okay not perfect but you have to start somewhere looks great to me mm. I'll be wearing these to a wedding at the end of the month thank you JM designers and for the DVDs um, you have really inspired me and that's from Susan oh Susan how lovely and you're going to be wearing it to a special occasion that's gorgeous hun. 393 now we're going to go to a very quick break where we're going to recoup get equipped and get ready and raring to go because we have got the most amazing deal coming up for a Kumi Hemo collection so don't go anywhere but just so you know we've got lots and lots of workshops and bits and pieces that go on outside of the live TV hours here at Jewelry Maker so take a look at this Come and join guest designer Sarah Elvin on our Kumahimo Projects Workshop. Explore the different materials used in both braiding and Kumahimo, as well as learning a variety of patterns, ending techniques, and many more hints and tips to get you started. The full course includes a selection of satin cord and organza ribbon, a selection of gemstones and findings, gold-coloured copper wire, use of all relevant tools, a buffet-style lunch and refreshments, a tour of the studio and the museum, and a chance to visit our shop. All of this for just $69.95. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 Tune in to The Late Show every day on Jewelry Maker, kicking off the action with low stock high end at 5 p.m. Next up at 6, we have Pick of the Week. At 7 p.m., it's clearance. And to end the show, don't miss Viewer's Choice at 8 p.m. The Late Show, every day at 5 p.m. on Jewelry Maker. Do you need a helping hand to get started with Jewelry Maker? Are you stuck for ideas and need inspiration? Then visit our Jewelry Maker website, where you can find our video tutorials. Expand your knowledge and skills with these easy to follow jewelry making demonstrations. Whether you're a beginner, hobbyist or business owner, there's always something new to learn. It couldn't be easier. Simply click and learn some new jewelry making techniques. If you have a question or query for jewelry maker, then you can contact our call center on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com. Okay, so I've seriously got cord coming out of my ears. The offer we're about to do is amazing. Uh, Amelia, please may I have you as an on-screen assistant? I need all of these yes. emptying out. I'm going to display them over race? my hand. Shall we race? Shall we race? Right. Okay, go. No, how are you doing? That's so 
I haven't even got into my first one. Shall I just leave the rest to you? We are going to do £14 worth of Kumi Hemo. Amazing. Get on the phone lines now. We have got for you here, um, oh, it's coming out of my ears, leather cord. Well, it's not coming out of my ears, it's coming out of Amelia's Ooh. ears. Ears? Well, why, why do you have to make a cow noise for leather. ears? Okay, right. Uh, oh, dear me. Now, this is genuine suede. There you go, darling, you can get this for me as well, thank you. Uh, um, this is real suede. It's not suede it's real suede. Now, they're all a metre in length, okay? A metre. So you're going to be getting one. Look at these colours. Two. Oh, my word. Start calling now, please. Three. Four. Is it 20 in total, Kim? 20 different colours. Amelia, thank you so much. 20 different colours. They're all a whole metre in length. And you've got the natural collection and then you've got the bright collections as well. So you've got turquoise, you've got blues, you've got fuchsias, you've got black, you've got red, you've got blue, um, you've got purple, you've got green, you've got brown, you've got beige, you've got taupe, you've got baby blue, you've got a lime, uh, sort of a lighter green, you've got a sort of mustard tone and then that gorgeous delicate pink. 20 metres and this is real suede. Now have you been able to find suede cord for less than a metre, uh, sorry, less than a pound a metre? you finding really good quality suede cord oh and I've just taken this out of the pack I don't really know why I bother doing that but I've done it anyway um how much can you find it for and you've got the black in there as well which proves to be really really useful to mix them with different colors now if you have never done kumihimo before in your life Suede's going to be a really, really great way to start because they're slightly larger threads. If you've got dexterity issues, they're going to be slightly larger for you to be able to grip onto. Um, that's something, obviously, uh, having arthritis myself in my hands, I find that uh, really, really useful to work with a thicker, uh, thicker cord. So this is suede, metre of each. You're also going to be getting the disc, the Hakumi Hemo disc. It's the smaller one, which is great for being able to carry it around with you. Now, you can never have too many of these discs either because if you're Kumi Hemo fan, you can start a project, finish it, um, sort of leave it part way. I know a lot of people who have probably eight or nine of these, so you can be doing it on the go. Now, to be honest, I would bulk buy this offer. You can never have too many Kumi Hemo discs, and quite honestly, with the value for money for the suede cord, you might as well go for it to bulk buy it on the suede. Now, the suede cord, a meter. What sort of prices have you found there, Kim? You found it as low as 40p a metre, have you? So at 40p a metre, and we've got 20 metres, if that was the lowest price, and we don't know the quality, of this is really, really great, 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 great quality. Um, for, for each pack of 10, it's usually £4.95, okay? I mean, look at the variety of the colours. I'm not displaying this in a particularly good way at all. <laughs> Free phone number 0800 644 So even if you were to get it, the lowest price that we've been able to find it out at 40p a metre, you've got 20 metres, so you'd be looking at eight pounds, okay? Look at these gorgeous colours, look. Oh, 0800 644 now we haven't got the disc available other than within the bundle okay should we just say the price for it all because this is just ridiculous 8.95 for 20 meters of genuine leather suede this is not suede yet this is real suede and your Kumi Hemo disc, 0800 644 I would recommend getting more than one. School holidays, what a great idea to be able to do this because it's a very, um, obviously, you know, uh, you need to watch children doing any craft uh, for safety reasons, but this is going to be, you know, there's no sharp objects involved. There's nothing that's, um, that's of a, excuse me, sorry, I'm just gonna, 
miss that over there. Um, I mean, look, they're all your natural tones. I know I haven't displayed those particularly beautifully. Right, there's loads of you still uh, waiting on the phone lines that haven't yet pressed your option one. You need to do that right now. And again, as always, I know I'm boring. I say it all the time, but you do need to check out your baskets immediately if you haven't yet done so. How are we doing on stock levels there, Kim? Okay, 50% of the stock has gone and we had a massive quantity. Absolutely massive quantity. Now, the beauty of using suede as well is it brings in a completely different texture. I know, Maggie, you're a big fan of Kumihimo. And have you used suede much with your doing Kumihimo? Only a little bit, but it, it gives a very different effect to, obviously, thread. It's thicker, it's got a different feel to it. So it's quite a chunky, almost a kind of masculine look to it if you use the right colour, Yeah, which is great. Nice. So it, it works well for that. Yeah. But use it kind of sparingly. You know, don't do a 12 strand with Kumihimo. <laughs> no. So what's the least amount of strands that you can do with Kumihimo? I think sort of the most basic. I think you can do a six strand. Okay, great. I, I tend to automatically do an eight for some reason. So again, we've got those DVDs available on our website or speak to the call centre that will tell you all of your, uh, I'll talk you through all the different techniques. Free phone number 0800 644 655. Remember Maggie is available here to answer your questions live on TV today. So if you would like to text in, 60777 is the number that you can text into. And we'd love to hear from you. Thank you very much for your web comments that are coming in as well today. There you go, that's a bit more beautiful, isn't it? Is that to my director? Is that okay for my director? So once again, that's 20 metres of the suede cord. Real suede. This isn't suede yet. And of course, you're going to get the disc as well to do your kumihimo. That's a slightly smaller one that we've seen Maggie using, but you can apply exactly the same technique to it. So what's the implications of having a smaller one? Well, it's more transportable, <laughs> for a start. But your designs will be exactly the, the same? The designs are exactly the same, yes. So I started off, I use my smaller one more than I use my larger one for some reason, probably because I started with a small one. Yeah. But I think it's like anything else, it's like bidding trays. You can have any number of them because you can keep your projects going. I've got four in the go at the moment yeah. at home. Yeah, well, one year and three at home. So you can have any number of them. And so I think that's a, you know, a brilliant idea to get it with a cord, try it with a cord, and you've got a disc that you'll use for ages and ages and ages. And I really do think uh, lots of you have multi-bought this. It makes sense, right? Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. We've got more stock of this available, so go for it. If you haven't yet purchased that, and if we've got any stock left later in the show, I'll let you know. But if you haven't yet checked out your basket, make sure you do so because I think we had a little situation yesterday where we hadn't people hadn't checked out their baskets, and then suddenly everybody checked out all in one go. So um, please make sure you check out right now to ensure that you get it. Eight pounds and ninety-five pence. The code P A. HGC17. Okay, where should we go to next, Kim? Because there's so much to uh, to bring to you today. Once again, we've got the wire twisting tool back in stock. We've got the most amazing collection of findings coming your way. Zabarite Garnet, gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous gemstones, and moonstone on their way. Two fantastic um, uh, bulk purchases as well, which are just the most amazing bundles, uh, different hues within those gorgeous sort of tribal feels. But the most fabulous, 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 fabulous sari silks I've ever had the chance to work with are available within this pack. Now I want to show you this piece of jewellery. Who made this for us? It's amazing. Was it you? Maggie! It is amazing. <laughs> Oh, how fabulous. Right, in that case, was this one of your designer inspirations? It was, then? yes, a couple of weeks ago, yeah. In that case, let's go over. Can I take this over to Maggie? Uh, I want you to, because we've got the, the sari silk bag, the bundle bag, available today. Uh, it was out of stock. It's back by very, very, very popular demand. So I would just like you to very quickly talk us through what you've done, because obviously you can buy the sari silk bundle, but all the material that you see that's been used in this design is the sari silk. Most stunning colours. They're beautiful. Now, every pack is going to differ slightly, but regardless of what colorway and color pack you, you receive, similar tones, these are most definitely amazing quality. They feel stunning. They are silk, sari silk, and they oh, they just feel gorgeous. So, 
I mean, you love working with silk, don't you? I do, silk? yes. I do. I, I really enjoyed making this piece. Yes. Oh, it's lovely to see it again as well. So, where, so, yeah, how did you do it? So, I started off cutting circles. So, there's two different sizes of circles in here. There's the larger one here on the back and a smaller one here. I think they were 10 centimetres and 8 centimetres. Okay. Yeah. So, so, first of all, I unpacked the, the bag. And I know this sounds bizarre, but I ironed them all. Yeah, I know everyone says, what did you do that for? But I ironed them all because they come kind of crumpled up. And when you iron them, you, get, you just see the fabric much nicer. This one's got such a lovely two-way sheen on okay, it, for example. Yeah. So I sorted them out, sorted them out into colours, decided what I was going to, how I was going to use them, laid them all out on, on a bit of paper or a board or something. Then you gathered them up. I gathered them up and I used the little scraps. When you cut a circle, you obviously get little scraps of silk left over. So I used the little scraps to stuff them with to give a little bit more body. Ah. Then did the same for the smaller ones. Put the chain through the two and then sewed the two together. The two together with those beads to hold them in place. And that's kind of how they worked. They, it looks amazing because I, as I'm looking at this, I'm also thinking. Again, we were talking earlier about crafting techniques really yeah. crossing over. Mm. Gorgeous for sort of applique on cushions and fabulous brooches and designs on hats and appliques on coats and it's just once you've got that technique down pat you're going to be able to apply it to so many different things now we are going to do the most amazing offer again this is silk it's beautiful 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 silk so you can really look at this piece of jewelry and do you remember the date by any chance that you did this if you I, don't don't worry it was a Thursday it's two weeks ago on a Thursday so that would be to do the 6th, I think, 6th of March. We're just going to double check that for you. And then what, what a, we'll be able to be, well, the 6th of March. 6th of March. Yeah. 6th of March. So if you go onto YouTube and put on the Designer Inspiration 6th of March, mm -hmm. you'll be able to see exactly how this was made and be able to see all the techniques that were used. And so that means that when you get your, I mean, oh God, <laughs> I have to warn you that half the stock has gone. Half the stock has gone on this already. Um, it's very, 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 very in demand. I think that's a great tip to iron it. I think, well, yes, it otherwise it's, you know, I don't really like ironing. I don't advocate doing it most, <laughs> most of the time. Get it out of the tumble dryer and just flatten it out with your hands a bit. That's what mine but is. I'll it, hang it up. <laughs> it brings it out. And of course, can I just have a, see some of them are, of course, I've got yeah. prints on them. Like this, this is gorgeous. It's got a little print on it as well, which is really lovely, I think. And beautiful, vibrant color. Because silk takes up dye really nicely. And sometimes you get them with bits of embroidery. Well, this one here. So this one here has got little bits of embroidery on it. And so oh, I used yeah. that in some of the pieces, some of the medallions, like this one here has got the embroidery in the middle of it. So if you're quite selective about it, you can get quite, quite interesting effects. Wow. So. so, so many different ways that you can use it. And again, you can use it with the, you can actually start to cut it up and use it alongside the ribbons. It looks amazing if you twist it in the twister tool. Have you ever twisted them no, together? No, I haven't. They look amazing. So the wire twister tool, mm. instead of twisting wire, you can twist your silks. They, it gives you a whole completely different look. You can make a talk using the silk. So you get the, mm. um, so, the wire and you can actually what I was what I thought about the other day this is out of my own mind and then <laughs> me and Alison talked about it and then Alison did it with ribbons I know I do make jewelry you cheeky things but you can even just um, sew very quickly with the sewing machine and then turn it inside out so you get effectively like a sock mm -hmm. of it feed your wire down and then feed a wire on top and then twist and it makes the most amazing look and if you right. if you sew it so the inside so the outside becomes the inside I'm really embarrassed now because I'm not a guest designer <laughs> so what you're doing you're sewing it right sides together and turning it inside and out. turning it inside out putting a wire on the inside on on the outside stick it in the wire twister tool and you end up with this incredible with the wire twister tool this incredible silk talk that sounds amazing I think so Ooh. I did do one but I was too embarrassed to bring it in because I get really scared she about my designs it. and telly. Yeah, I know, but it. no, because you guys are all so amazing. I don't want it. Anyway, let's have a look. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I do make jewelry. Uh, I've been crafting for years. Uh, so take a look at the price of this. You'll be blown away. Six ninety five, <gasps> And it's silk, silk, silk. Beautiful. They are absolutely beautiful. And the fact that you can get so many different colours in one go. Yeah. yeah, there's no way that you could go out and buy this kind of stuff 
you know, if you're going to buy it, you have to buy it by by sort of 25 a centimetre yes. and a full width. And yeah. I, I've not bought silk for ages, but I'd imagine you, you wouldn't even get half a metre of silk for that price. Yeah. yeah. And you're getting all of this. And it's that variety that you can get. It might be worth getting a couple of these packs. In fact, somebody there has just bought three of them. Twos and threes going out. If you just want one, that's fine. But remember, it's only one post and packaging price all day. You don't pay it per item. So if you want to bulk buy, and then when you get it home, if in two weeks' time you think, I don't know if I'm going to use all of that, actually, send it back and we'll give you a full refund. You've got 30 days to do so. It's good, isn't it? So that's if you buy more than one pack. You can't obviously send half a pack back. But say... You buy four packs and you only use three of them. You can send another pack back as long as it's within 30 days. Great, isn't it? Really great. So thank you very That's much. Awesome. That's necklaces. Do you know what I would Amazing. also do with some of those? If you're selling pearls, you could make, on your sewing machine, make a little gift bag to put your pearls in. I mean, that's, you know, pearls and silk, they just go together so naturally. So any scraps you've got left, you can make a little, little gift bag with. I haven't done it yet, but it's Sorry, on my to-do cool. list. <laughs> That's lovely. Oh, I'm thinking of all sorts of things oh, now. Nice. Like a friend of mine um, makes lots of things for weddings. We've just been talking about maybe making some garters because I was saying I've got I've got lots of the blue bees for a little something blue. Yes. Making a little embellishment, so you could even get some. You could make a little a silk bow with oh, a little yes. bead, and then it can attach a little garter. And oh, kinky, let's go. Right, <laughs> I'll leave you to your challenge because you haven't you. had a moment to breathe yet. So uh, move that out of the way for you. Right, let's go double over here, Kimbo. Where should we go next? And should we do a seven strand bundle? Oh, now, did you miss out on the bundle yesterday? Don't worry, we're going to do the same price for seven strands again. Now, we've got less than less than 200 of these. Ah, oh, what a shame. Okay. <gasps> oh, just, right, just look at that. Wouldn't that actually, oh look, wouldn't they look amazing with that bee scoop, the, the uh, precious tube that we had yesterday in the show. So, don't worry, if you didn't join us yesterday, you're getting loads of tweets today. Don't worry, don't worry. So even though this is seven strands, some of you would consider these to be double strands, the equivalent of two each. Um, so one, two, three, it's the equivalent of four strands for some of you. Some of you view chips as those are one strands. Um, some of you would say that that's a two strands. So really, you could almost say this is a nine strand bundle. You've obviously got that amazing Labradorite. <laughs> You've got that gorgeous opal. So Labradorite, opal, pre night. Oh, excuse me a second. Bear with me a second. I'm just getting my details. I'm so, so sorry. That's actually, that's the moonstone. This is the opal. Wow, moonstone and opal. So labradorite, moonstone, pre night, opal, jasper, 18 by 14 millimeters. Those jasper, that's fab, isn't it? How versatile is this black obsidian strand? Ah, uh, gorgeously faceted. It's a full 38 centimeter strand, it's just doubled over. And then, how lovely is that? I'd actually wear this neck, this as a necklace, just as it is using the pearl knotting tool that we had. I just restrand this on thread. Has the knotting tool sold out? Oh dear, okay. Um, I just restrand that, because look, they're graduated round. So isn't that lovely? Oh, it feels so cool. Can you imagine that with some nice white linen trousers and a floaty top? <laughs> Aww, that was Kim's reaction. Oh, uh, 0800 655. The code is JVGC34. Seven strands, or maybe nine, if you consider the nuggets to be uh, two strands. Free phone number 0800 644 655. This is flying out, and we're going to honour the same price we did yesterday for a seven strand bundle, even though we probably shouldn't with the gemstones that are in here, but we're going to do it anyway. 16.95. I know. I know. 16.95 for all of these amazing genuine gemstones, of which you've got moonstone in there, labradorite, prehnite. Opal, Jasper, Obsidian, Howlite. How on earth have we done that? Look at that. 16.95. They're all genuine gemstones. That is 
Phenomenal. In fact, Mike, what is it? It's phenomena. Do 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 do. I love the fact that Maggie joined in! You are a legend! I don't know why I always have to do my one arm chicken dance when I'm doing that bit. Moving on, 16.95 for that volume of gemstones. It's absolutely incredible. Uh, Labradorite, moonstone, prunite, yellow opal, jasper, obsidian, and howlite, all for 16.95. Incredible stash building, great versatility. Maybe there's a couple of gemstones you've not worked with before. Well, don't worry about it. It's like you're getting, you're getting them for next to nothing. 0800 644 Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to do Moonstone next. 1695 uh, for those amazing strands. Good luck. If we've got any of that left later, I shall revisit it, but it's highly doubtful. Amelia, please may I put this just to one side? I may well need it again later, but I'm running out of space on my desk. Why don't you pop it in this little box? Why don't I pop it in this yeah, little box? That one, box 14. In box 14. Can I give you that then? Of course you can. I like Thank you. Lovely. Right. Shall we move on? Let me just show you these. If this doesn't shout, I am well aware that this is not Rainbow Moonstone, but I just want to show you these. Maggie, you were a fan of zesty colour for, uh, for summer. Oh, that's gorgeous. Isn't it? Ooh. Ooh, what about using this with that amazing fuchsia of the sari thread? That would be absolutely stunning. Real kind of or, tropical holiday thing. Or even that. Look at that. Oh. I've now got Club Tropicana drinks are free going around in my head now you've said that. Club Tropicana drinks are free. Now, this moonstone is amazing. It's never been seen on the morning show before. It's only been seen once before, and that was on the late show. So if you didn't catch it, you haven't had a chance to buy it yet. Check these out. Now, unfortunately, the studio lights aren't doing this justice. Let's have a look at our close-up, shall we? Look at these. They go from a six by five up to a huge 35 by six. It's a, look at the shiller there. You get some beautiful, look at that amazing blue shiller. You see that there. Now, unfortunately, due to the way that the light sources work, these aren't going to look amazing on your TV screen. You need to get them home to see them for yourself. So with these long pieces that you've got, on average up to a 35 by 6, they're really, really, really impressive. Maggie, this sort of shape, what sort of thing would you design, would you sort of be drawn I to think, with these? I think the obvious thing is probably a Cleopatra-type collar, mm. you know, an Egyptian-type style. And I think that's what the automatic thing to think about would be with it. But you could actually be a little bit more adventurous. Instead of starting with a big stone in the middle, you could, you could stagger it and do a sort of smaller in the middle and then a sort of scoop shape. Does that make sense? Yes, yeah? very much so, sort of like the collar like necklaces. Like a collar, yes, yeah, something like that. Yeah. What a great and idea. Th and I think that just gives a slightly different twist on it, just for a change. Yeah, that designer mm -hmm. element that we have our designers for. Indeed. <laughs> I'm going to pop this up to the neckline for you. The beauty of Rainbow Moonstone is it's just going to go with everything. Anything and everything. Excuse me a second. I'm going to, I've got a really hairy neck. I'll move my hair out of the way. That'd be attractive. Wouldn't it? That'd be lovely. I've moved it now. It's the hair off my head. You could really wire up these into funky rings, couldn't you? Obviously, you've got a drill hole just at one end, but you can play around with that, severely wrapping the other end. I really like that, just like that. If you just have a look from a distance, and you're able to see the whole sort of effect, and then you could, you could inject a really fabulous colour in between each one. What about those mystic red chalstony that we had on the show yesterday? 
Yeah, I've got some uh, Mystic Quartz coming up actually very soon that would look lovely with them as well. I'm just having there's loads of things. <gasps> the Savarite Garnets in between each one. I've got Savarite Garnet coming up later for you in the show. So 120 carats. Oh wait, 100, 6, double 4, 6, double 5. And we're doing them for just 11.95, but it's on a first come first serve basis. I'm gonna count how many you're gonna get on average on a strand. It will be an average, you're guaranteed the carrot weight, but averaging out at approximately one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Amelia, please may I have a blackboard? You may. You I may, thank you. About 60% of the stock's just gone. Flying out. Thank you. That was so elegantly done. Bosh. <laughs> they are fab, aren't they? Okay, I'm going to give Maggie our uh, a heads up here. We are about to do our second kit. If we could get oh that prepared, goodness, thank that you. would be amazing. Thank you. Now our second kit. Oh. We have got a little second lot of threads coming up that have been worked with them as well. Apparently, we've been inundated with people saying, I can't go out. When are you going to do the next lot of sari threads? Well, don't worry, we're going to do them imminently. Um, I'm actually looking at the two packs that we've got remaining as well. Here we go. This is from Sylvia. JM, could you please tell me when the next sari silk thread bundles will be coming up? As I have a workman here, and uh, as I have workmen here, I don't want to miss them. You don't want to miss the workmen? Are they tasty? Are they a bit honky? Those were. But, um, Pauline, hi everyone. Just had my sari threads ordered last week. They are incredible. Can't wait to start playing. They're from Pauline in Bodmin in Cornwall. You live in Bodmin in Cornwall. I'm so jealous. Fabulous, fabulous. Oh, on a lovely day. Oh, gorgeous. Don't worry, they're coming up soon. And for those of you who are waiting, thank you very much, Pauline, for uh, for sending that message in for us. So the next one we're going to bring into you is that going to be the silver, red, and green? No, it's the brownie coloured ones. I got it completely wrong. Um, we're going to be doing this one next. Now, the previous one has all sold out, has it? The all gone. We, the great thing is that these are going to, we've got more stock of this. Now, this is from a third pack that's coming up. But don't you think you could play around with mixing the silver? Ah, oh. mm. gorgeous, right? This is going to be our next one. And we're going to do it after the next kit, okay? So, the kit, the kit, the kit. <sighs> Am I allowed to say what price we're going to yet? You're gonna get one of the biggest savings ever um, on a kit with this one. It is the most, oh, the colors are amazing. When you see the work that Maggie has done with this kit as well, there, oh, look at, oh, that's all oh, sorry about, oh. Mm, just, mm, just, mm. Mmm, look, look at them, they're just, mm, gorgeous, gorgeous, oh, what about the most amazing variety of colours that you've got in here, can we get uh, even closer there please Mike, thank you my lovely, look at that incredible variety, because you've got the juiciest, richest greens into plummy purples, into amber tones, into more forest tones. These are absolutely amazing. Now they're 14 millimeter multicolored agates. There's 520 carats. Now the great thing about this strand is the variety of different tones. Because if you have a look at this bracelet here, how stunning is this? Maggie's actually drawn out, pulled out, chosen to use the sort of more pinky deep blush red tones. And doesn't it that look like that's chain? That's with the sari threads. We're going to do them in a minute after the kit. How cool is that? How cool is that? So uh, that's one of the pieces to give you a heads up on. So we have this strand, don't we? Oh, oh look at this. I'm literally palpitating over the quality of these. Mm. Aren't they absolutely amazing? 10 millimeter round labradorites of this really earthy tone of labradorite, verging more on the greens. Now, where, where's this from? Where's this labradorite source from, please? 
Yeah, that's why. South African Labradorite. It has this almost like um, a beautiful deep forest green tone behind it, whereas some of the Labradorites are a little bit more silvery, which you'd expect from the Labrador region of Canada. With the South African, you've got this amazing deep, yeah, forest green tones really is its backdrop. Then, hello, 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 hello. Mm. Look at this. Oh, sorry for that brief interlude, folks. Um, look at this. This is a beautiful peach. A stunning peach feldspar. The most beautiful, beautiful sunstone, of which, of course, is a member of the feldspar family. So if it says on your detail, feldspar, it's because feldspar is the name of the collective family. So, for example, you know, um, emeralds and aquamarine and morganite are part of the beryl family. Sunstone is a member of the feldspar family. So we're looking here at a peach sunstone, otherwise known as feldspar. Not as romantic to say feldspar as it is sunstone, I don't think. Now they are so pretty, they're so delicate, they're so so elegant. They facet the facets on them make them sparkle beautifully. Don't you think that'd be gorgeous with some cloudy quartz? They're exquisite, aren't they? Now look at the tone of that beading thread. Isn't that a match made in heaven? 50 metres of beading thread, 6 metres clear elastic and 80 metres of monofilament. And then, the findings. You have got, oh, a bonus gift by the way, sari silk, sorry, sari ribbon, apologies, sari ribbon. Um, sorry silk ribbon rather than pieces I should say and you're going to get 100 grams of it it's done in gram weight on the silk so I'll open that out in just a second but let's have a look at these findings now you're going to get once again 115 it's the antique bronze um, copper so copper with an antique bronze overlay they're a slightly different hue than the previous ones that we've had I love them they have like this they've got a wonderful warm tone Maggie's nodding away here. I think they're gorgeous. I think they're absolutely fabulous. It's the colour and the texture yeah. of them, it's, everything it's about just, them. It's just they... this warmth about them, yes. yes. And there's the chain. Bang on trend. A perfect, um, perfect hue for mixing and matching in metals because a yellow gold would work so nicely with that as well, wouldn't it? So within this pack of findings, you're going to be getting 45 head pins, uh, 30 of which are your ball head pins. Uh, 15 of which are your flat head pins and then you're also going to be getting your toggle clasps and your ribbon cord ends and your shepherd hooks and another toggle clasp and a gorgeous connectors and your jump rings really 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 fabulous and then let's have a look at these sari ribbon silks now oh, why why can I never undo this particularly quickly there we go And they are fab. I mean, the different tones that you get. They're really beautiful. And um, these, again, could easily be sewn into tubes, mixed in with the wire, and then use it on the twi wire twisting tool, again, to make your talk. So this is an example of lots of, of the different hues you're getting. Beautiful mulberry hues. Really, really, really stunning. So the code on this is NTGC15. You should be looking at £38.20. Can I just show you this bracelet once again? 
I mean, Mackie has made breathtakingly, inspiringly gorgeous jewellery with this kit. We'll be looking at it in just a moment. Good luck, everybody. There's one of the pieces. We'll be looking at the others in just a moment. We're doing this kit for £21.95. It's on a first come, first serve basis. Amazing. Let's go over and see what Maggie has done with the rest of the kit. Now, straight after the kit, we will be doing the corresponding sari threads that Maggie has used uh, alongside the contents of the kit. And she's used them within that piece here. Oh, my word. <gasps> Inspiring. Amazing. Fabulous. Yeah. <laughs> Maggie, what a kit. I mean, my goodness, when we were setting it out this morning, you were surprised yourself how many pieces you'd made. I'd, I'd forgotten. I'd forgotten I'd made so many pieces, to be honest, yes. Look I'd, at that. I'd, I'd forgotten about this pendant, for example. Just using lots of material. Just, yeah, look at this pendant here. Isn't that gorgeous in the matching earrings? It's so mystical and magical. I that love that. I wasn't sure at first until I took it out of the packet what it was. This this uh, labradorite. Oh, I know. And it's got that. Is it shimmer you cut? No, sh Schiller. Schiller, thank you. Schiller. It's got that shimmer about it. And it, oh, it's beautiful. And those big rounds. Oh. Uh, absolutely exquisite. I love them. Um, please do make sure you're checking out your baskets because, again, it's going really quickly. It's a whole kit with 115 findings, three strands of genuine gemstones. And you get the sari ribbons in there as well. And you've got all your threading materials. And you get two organza gift packs for twenty-one ninety-five. Now, half the stock's already gone. Half the stock's already gone. We've got a good quantity of this available, but half the stock has already gone. So which piece did you start off with? I started off with a great big kind of crochet bib. <laughs> it's <laughs> for fabulous. For want of oh. description on it. This is the type of piece that, that you would see somebody on Rodeo Drive. Again, I'm thinking maxi dress. Oh, very much. I'm thinking mm. big fabulous handbag, oversized sunglasses, pedicured perfection, you know, flip flops, feeling a bit, being a bit fabulous, doing a bit of shopping, sitting outside a wine bar drinking a glass <laughs> of wine. Darling is the image that I think this conjures up for me. It's very catwalk, it's fabulous. Can I just draw your attention to this here as well? This isn't chain. That's macrame with the sari thread that we're going to be doing next. How fab is that? Did you love using that? I, have you not worked it out? I just, <laughs> sorry, I, I won't, I'll, I'll try and stop going on about it. I did, I just loved using that sari thread. It's fantastic. We're going to be doing it next. Um, this is just so elegant, very, very elegant. And using it along zone, along zone, alongside that sunstone, it really helps draw out the shiller of the labradorite. Now, remember, with the kits, you don't have to use it within the confines of the kit. It's a great stash builder because of the value for money. And the amount you get is just amazing. She's off. She's gone. Round the corner. She's had enough. She's left. I'm doing a runner. You're doing a runner just to get the better board though <laughs> um so that fabulous necklace there then you've got the bib gorgeous um really gorgeous pendant and pair of earrings and that fabulous bracelet so what technique are we going to learn Shall I do the pendant earrings yes. or would you like me to do the macrame bracelet? Which one would you like? I'm thinking the pendant earrings because it's the macrame it... technique here on that herringbone technique, we know that, is it a herringbone technique? Uh, no, it's, it's not. Just, it's just the square. The square knot square with knot going knot, around yeah. Uh, yeah. on the bracelet. I know that we've got a lot of tutorials on YouTube for that, oh, whereas right, we don't have many tutorials at all for this incredibly precise look on these and what's lovely what I love about it is I've seen this technique applied but not where it's been exactly the same pattern at the back it's been a bit maybe crisscrossy over at the back All right. and so with earrings it's really important especially if you've got shorter hair that they look really neat and precise so it's exactly the same in the back let's definitely learn how to do these right so first it's, 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 it's not complicated at all this is really quite simple so I threaded on, I think it was seven, but you could do nine. For some reason, I felt an odd number was appropriate. Okay. Um, it's a feng shui thing, that, isn't it? Is it? Mm. Maybe, maybe it's just that I like being odd. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. <laughs> so you're threading on seven, just like this, just and thread, and then taking it back round. You need, sorry, I should have started at the beginning, shouldn't I? You need a fairly decent length of wire to do this with, yeah? 
So the beading thread, you think? About, Sorry, beading thread. Is that about I've half a metre? Yeah, probably a little bit more than half a metre. Okay, yeah. I mean, you get 50 metres on a reel, so I really but don't worry lasts, about using lots. It lasts lots. forever, yeah. So what I'm doing now is I'm threading back round again to make a circle. Um, and I'll do that so that every wire, sorry, so every bead has two pieces of beading thread inside it. Right. Okay, so it's a rough circle there, and just a case of tightening it up to make it into a circle. And so that gets you a fairly decent circle shape. Okay. So I'm just snipping off the end here so it goes through the beads a little bit more easily. So I'll just take this end here back round once more just to fix it in place a little bit. Right. Then it's a case of crisscrossing them across the beads. So I've got the loose end here. I'm just going to take it across here and then across there. Mm -hmm. Bring it round on the back. Cross it again and round. And I'm going to run out of beading thread. <laughs> And that's why we always say, you can going to use a lot, lot more. Exactly. You need a metre, folks, don't you? Have we time to run through it again? Yes, absolutely, we let, do. Let me just... Um, just while Maggie is preparing that, it just goes to show that our designers are human. Um, and it doesn't really matter because the beading thread is, you get so much of it, you so can literally just snip it and start again. You do get absolutely everything other than the sari thread of which we're going to be doing next. And then we've got another pack coming up later as well. So if you thought, oh, well, I'll do that and I'll get that and then I'll go out. You can't, we've got more coming up later. You're stuck with your work then. For the <laughs> lady who uh, texted in earlier. Are they hunky? Is it quite nice? If you've got a hunky workman, it's quite nice sometimes, but then it's quite intimidating other times because if they turn up and you're still in your pyjamas and your hair's like, it can be a bit. Anyway, I'm going back to my single days. Let's move on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now married, happily married and a mother. Uh, right. But there's nothing, no reason why you shouldn't look as long as you don't touch. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, our, our workmen that we've had in recently, no. No offence, guys, but... Are they, are they <laughs> years of experience, would uh, you say? Of workmen? Yeah, not you, I mean, the workmen. Have they had years of experience? Yes. So they're not quite in the first flush of... Um, no, but I think they like to... And anyway! <laughs> Bambi's totally zoned out. He's like, I don't even know, I don't know what you're thinking about anymore. Right, OK. <laughs> so. Right, so I've got back to the beginning again here. It might be a slightly squishy circle, it does have a bit of movement in it, but when you use the wires to tighten up, that will make them into more of a circle. So you're wrapping round, so you've got four on one side and three on the other, and I think that's what gives, gives this sort of automatic, um, I think that's why you go for odd numbers. And you're just wrapping it round, and I went round twice. And each time you go around, you get a slightly different star shape. The, the thread follows a slightly different path. And that's back to the beginning. Yep. So you can see each in between each bead, there's two different threads. And it gives a little sort of star shape in the middle. On the reverse, it's much the same. And so now what I'm going to do is feed the thread back through the holes. Sometimes it behaves really well with through two holes at once. When I don't expect it to. Okay. And this is where it's quite useful to have a pair of pliers because you sometimes you might need the pair of pliers just to pull the ends through. Okay. And you can see it works much better being generous with your beading thread. Come on, come on. Uh, I didn't use any glue on it. You could, if you really wanted to, you could use glue at the ends. That little twist that I did there. Uh, yeah. With beading thread, if you're not careful, you can kink it quite easily. So, as you can see there, it's formed a kind of bizarre figure of eight shape. Yeah. So if you straighten out your fingers that way around, get rid of that kink. Before you feed before it. it kink, yeah, before it actually kinks, yeah. And I'm nearly back at the beginning. So this one here is the other one. I'm going to take that in the opposite direction, just to finish that one off as well. 
We do have just a few of that kit remaining, just so you know, we're going to do the sari thread next. Then clip them as close as you can. So you don't need to knot it because you've put it through so many times. I don't think times. you do, not because it's gone through so many times, yeah. Keep, it's a bit like making beady beads. Just keep on feeding it through until you, until you can't feed it through anymore. Yeah. yeah. Then it's using, if I remember, it's just using a jump ring a and jump a ring. shepherd hook. Yep. Or in this instance, a jump ring. Oh, that's lovely. Take a look at this one. Uh, on the pendant, Maggie's used a jump ring and then one of those rope finish loops. And then this is what I was talking about earlier in the show about using the, because they're so beautiful, using them as part of the design. And that's at the very front of the necklace. That's lovely. So I've just, I've twisted the jump ring onto the wire. I'm now going to do my very best to close it. Really quite strong, those jump rings, you know, they're substantial. It's great, isn't it? It gives Which you that extra good. security, Absolutely. peace of mind. And then with this kit, you get two different uh, earring hooks. You get the, the plain one, which is this one here. And you get the, the more fancy one. With a little spring little, on it. A little spirally bit on it. Which one did I use? Spirally one. Spirally one. Oh, well, I'll use the other one then, just to be different. And that will go through your little hook there. And that's it. Close it up. And it is as simple. And it's as simple as that. Yeah. yeah. They are really, really lovely. And what I love about it as well is the idea that you can do that on a much bigger scale because of the size of these big ones, you could yeah. do them almost like ornaments to hang up. Like dream sun catcher catches. type thing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Twenty-one ninety-five. Few of those remaining, a few of you still sat with that in your baskets. Check them out. I don't know why I just did that, I'm sorry. <laughs> Check out your baskets, do it now! Um, otherwise you're gonna miss out. Right, sorry thread. I think this is my favourite one so far. I knew I love the other one because I love the colours and I love the silver and the other one. Just get them all. It's going to 6 95 again. Now we've got a much bigger quantity, I would recommend, because of the speed that these come in and go out, buy more than one of these at a time. Here we go, you're looking here at your gold, your antique bronze and your copper colour, and they're gorgeous, and if you work them all together, just once again, let me show you this one here. Uh, if I show you the macrame technique using this one, doesn't that look gorgeous? So gorgeous. And a bit brighter, actually, out of the context of the reel. And then if I show you this one here again, again, macrame, it does look like real chain. And that's using the antique bronze. Oh, sorry. I brought that in at the wrong time there, didn't I? At 6 95 I want my hair to be that colour in that shiny. <gasps> oh, yeah. Well, I don't know if I want it that shiny. Oh, I do. I'm glad we all talked about that. That's lovely. Do you know some people do put this type of thread in their hair? They do. They do, yeah. So you can wrap, and you can do it with card as well. You can wrap it round. You can wrap the thread round. So, you know when you go on holiday to some places and, yeah. and you've got ladies sitting there wrapping cord round yes. or wrapping thread round? So you could do that if you felt like it. Hey, what about doing it on some card and fixing it onto a grip thing? And then you could put it in your hair just for special occasions and then take it out again. Yes, so I'm well, loving this. But also, I know of people because I watch so much reality TV. Uh, and this is why I know a lot about the fashions in Beverly Hills, because I watch reality TV programs and then worry, yeah, real housewives of here, there and everywhere. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but some of them have just literally, you wouldn't even need to do anything about it other than a little loop and grip one in. And just these, just literally a single piece in your right. hair. Right. Yeah. Anyway, six ninety five. You're going to make amazing jewellery out of these. They are beautiful, 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 beautiful for macrame. You can kumihimo with them. You can simply just sew with them. You can thread your beads onto them. You can then knot in between all of them. Oh, they're just beautiful. I am craving owning these. And if you do, if you do text, you know, a lot of a lot of young girls do textiles at school, don't they? As a subject. Yes. Yeah. So I did, yeah. Fantastic. You know, yeah. if you have those, or if you're in a youth club or anything like that, because there's so much of it, it would go around so many people. See, I think really times have changed a little bit because I remember I made a zebra tea cosy in textiles. <laughs> Had to go to the zoo to be inspired. I think the school's changed up there. You see, I went, I did go to school a long time ago. Uh, however, if you do now funky and cool things in textiles, oh, they at do school, great things in textiles yeah. now. Yeah. 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 Amazing. So, Six pounds and 95 pence. 
it's great. What, what, what more can you say? That's I think it would be rude not to. I think you'd be really silly to pass it off. <laughs> I'd get all three of them. All three sets. We've got another one coming up later. Mm. They do mix and mingle oh, absolutely. beautifully all together yes. as well. Um, we have got a recommendation. If you can buy this off the website, that would be great because our phone lines have gone bananas. Uh, you can still get through, but you would hit a slight queue. But if you are shopping on the website, make sure you check out your baskets. Now then, let's go over and be truly inspired once again over to the Wall of Fame. <laughs> Oh dearie me, we're having a giggle. Right, uh, three, nine, four, look at this using the Kumi Hemo. This is from Sue in Litchfield. Hi all at JM, here's my entry to the Wall of Fame. It's an eight strand Kumi Hemo braid using the blue suede and the white hemp cord with a soda light flower and the heart taken from a toggle clasp. All from JM except the clasp and the heart. It was inspired by a design of Janet's simple but effective from Sue in Litchfield. Sue, I'm loving your um, your setting for that, showing the blue and white and the, um, just, just gorgeous. Three, nine, four, good luck. Right, so mine is three, nine, five. Sorry, I'll put it that way. Hi everyone at Jewelry Maker. Uh, this is my entry for the Wall of Fame. The bracelet is made from the beautiful heart-shaped amethyst and completed with sterling silver and a gold plate findings, all bought from JM. Love to watch the beautiful the designs that are created. Regards from Jackie. Now, I don't know how to pronounce Jackie's surname. Phil Joan? Phil Joan? Phil Joan? Anyway, she's I'm not quite sure, Jackie. I'll just say Jackie from Wigan. Hi, Jackie. I hope the weather's nice up in Wigan today. Uh, yeah, that's it. Lovely. Gorgeous. Really, really yeah. gorgeous. Simple and beautiful and gorgeous. Simple good. Simple works so well at times. Yeah. Oh, oh 396. Oh, my word. Tracy. Dear jewelry maker, please find attached my first design for your wall of fame, if I may. Yes, you may. From the minute I received a strand of sapphires from JM, I had them staring at me for days, waiting for a design inspiration. But I'm really happy with the simplicity of what I've made as it shows the gorgeousness of the sapphires. I've used sterling silver beads and findings. I've also used clear quartz faceted round beads, and I hope you like this. It's sold already. Now I need to buy more sapphires from Tracy. Tracy, buy sapphires while you can, because there's in huge shortage in the shortage in the industry at the moment but also I wonder if you got that valued because my word because they're, they're getting really really hard to come by coloured sapphires you're 396 good luck and I hope you can get your hands on more mm. right so this one is chainmail is that not impressive oh my word isn't that fabulous oh my serious word <laughs> it's fantastic so this is Carol Walker <gasps> and Carol's from Brighton hi all I've just had a wonderful day on Gemma's workshop. Everyone is so lovely and friendly. I'm looking forward to coming again, but I have to decide which one to do next. Here's my latest entry for the Wall of Fame. It's a collar made of dragon scale weave with over 1,000 GM jump rings. <sighs> I keep trying to do other things, but the chain mill is hard to put down. Mm. All the best, Carol from Bryson. I just think, I'm not surprised that, that she's, she can't put them down. That's fantastic. That's absolutely oh amazing. Oh my word, that is Beautiful. stunning. I'd love to see that in real life. Oh, it's stunning, wouldn't it? Just yeah. gorgeous. I do apologise um, for if you're, by the way, regarding the sari thread, if you're having problems getting through. We've got a lot of stock still available. We've got a huge volume of calls on the phone lines. If you're coming through to an engaged tone, you do need to call back again. If you're there in the system, you just can hold the line. But if you've come through to an engaged tone, you need to put the phone down and call again. Or um, I think we might have crashed the phone screens because the phone <laughs> lines, because we've done such a good deal. This is 398. Oops. Uh, this is from Joe and it says, Hi, I've made a Celtic knot bracelet with JM silver plated wire and made the jump rings myself as well. You, you've you made that purely out of wire, but out of the 1.25. How impressive oh. is that? Oh, Joe, that is absolutely stunning. Absolutely stunning. That's so clever, isn't it? 398. You would never in a million years thought that was typical wire. Absolutely gorgeous. Good luck. Right, we are going to go to a break. We're going to fix everything. Um, <laughs> and we're going to... Should we have a cup of tea? Oh, that sounds great. Can I have coffee? Because I'm difficult. You can have, you can have a coffee, Thank yeah. You. Just, you can tell she hasn't lived in the north of England that lot. She's still, uh, you know, 
You're still what, drinking Scottish coffee. Scottish at heart. Scottish at heart. <laughs> she's drinking coffee. She's, <laughs> she now lives in Rochdale and she's not drinking tea. Anyway, let's move on. We're going to go to a short break. Right, when we come back. Oh, my goodness. We've got the tote bag. We've got the Savorite gone. It's still to come. We've got more sorry threads still to come. We've got another bundle of gemstones still to come. We've got the copper findings still to come. A massive, massive, massive discounts on their way. Don't go anywhere. We'll see you on the other side of this. If for any reason you're not satisfied, you have the benefit of our no quibble 30 day money back guarantee. Just complete the returns form enclosed with your goods and send them back for a full refund. We all know having the right tools for the job is important, so we here at Jewelry Maker have designed a toolkit which includes all your essential pliers for jewelry making, including round nose and flat nose pliers, wire cutters, as well as a bead reamer, snips, and tweezers. You've got everything you need for just $9.95. We provide the tools, you provide the skills. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Maker is part of the Genuine Gemstone Company for a reason. If we're going to offer you gemstones, then they have to be genuine. But the only way we can guarantee that is by getting a lab test. This guarantees that you're going to get genuine gemstones, and that's exactly what you deserve. Join guest designer Sarah Elvin and get creating stunning designs in no time with this Kumahimo introductory DVD. The easy to follow steps shown on this DVD will make you feel like you have your own personal tutor and will guide you through a variety of techniques to get you started. To get your hands on a copy, simply contact our call centre. Get creative with Jewelry Maker. Did you know that every individual gemstone in our Gems of Distinction collection goes through a seven-stage intricate process to get from the rough to a beautiful bead? Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or, alternatively, go to our website and click on Watch the Live Show. Simply type your message into the box and press Send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Tune in to The Late Show every day on Jewelry Maker, kicking off the action with low stock high end at 5 p.m. Next up at 6, we have Pick of the Week. At 7 p.m., it's clearance. And to end the show, don't miss Viewer's Choice at 8 p.m. The Late Show, every day at 5 p.m. on Jewelry Maker. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Just so you know what's happened in the break, we have established that we are going to um, basically have a ridiculously fabulous next two hours and Maggie and myself are eating fruit. We're not having cake. I know. However, if you are joining me on Sunday, I will be doing a cake sesh at 11 o'clock. Does that sound like a plan? <laughs> you can do an overtime and work if you like to, Tom. Tom's just gone, aww, I won't be here. Come in. Come in for cake at 11, why not? Why the devil not? Right, where are we at with the call screen? Sorry, with the calls. That's gone. That one's now sold out. I do apologize, that sorry thread has now sold out. I've got another one, however. So, Cats, can I possibly pass these ones to you? I'm sorry. Oh, I can do that. Uh, what floor was that, That's what floor, sorry me. I just thought you were very busy over there and I didn't want to interrupt you. Not She's too busy for you, Lucy. Not too busy for me. She's fab, isn't she? What are you after? What? I'll you later. <laughs> oh, dearie me. Right, can I just show you these as well that are on their way? How lovely are these? Because I can see you wearing these. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, for some a uh, bit of a zesty something or other. Yeah, I can. I can. Have you made much jewellery recently? Not recently. Not recently. I know everyone's massively busy at the moment as well, aren't they? 
Okie dokie, coming up for you then very, very shortly indeed, but also on its way will be the Zafarite Garnet. Now, Zafarite Garnet is really, really exciting gemstone. It was discovered by a gentleman called Campbell R. Bridges. I'll tell you more about that as we come to it a little later in the show. Right, where should we go to? Boom. Okay, this is amazing. This, um, if you're regular viewers, you will know that I am a massive, massive fan of bags. Massive fan of bags. The beauty of this is it's another way of keeping you really organised, looking really professional. I'm feeling quite fabulous because I think depending, that's why we make jewellery, isn't it? To make ourselves feel good. So the way that we make it and our accessories around it are all a part of that. What I think is really, really good about this bag is the sheer amount that you can get in it. Now, I swore that I would do this the last time I was on the show and I've forgotten again, haven't I? I could do with a newspaper or something that I could scrunch up or base it. Do you know what? Actually, I'll do it with these. I'm going to prove a point. Because look at the thickness of them. Look at the width of these. I've just passed those other sari threads over there, haven't I? Amelia, could I grab them back again, please? I'm about proving a point with the sari threads. I just need to grab them to put them in the bag. Thank you, darling. So, what I'm doing is literally packing this full. Okay, so I put six spools in there. Okay, six spools in there. And look, it still, it still does up. So my point is, there's a lot of hidden extra space in here. Uh, same on the other side. So. I don't know about you, but I've got beading thread coming out of my ears and elastic and monofilament because obviously every time you get a kit, you get those as well. But also things like all your organza ribbon. So you've got a pouch on either side. You've then got a zip compartment on either side as well. And again, you can get a lot in there with it still being done up. And there's the same on the opposite side again. You've then got the opportunity here to um, clip things onto the side. A lot of people um, have a lot of charms that they've made. This can be a fabulous display opportunity as well. And this one again here. Above each of the sides here, which are able to fit a lot in, you've got another pouch again. And again, that fits a lot, 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 lot in there again. And then, if we focus in on the handle, now the handle has got a rubber actual handle on the top of it, so it means it's really comfy. So think about when you're carrying your shopping bags and it's really, hello, <laughs> through the bag window. <laughs> Think about when you're carrying your really heavy shopping bags and they just really dig into your fingers, don't they? That's not going to dig in because it's got that really comfy handle. Now, if we have a look inside this, it's really, really sturdy. Sturdy, sturdy, sturdy bag. Okay. It's got a compartment in the center. And then on either side, what's really hard to demonstrate here because it's black. If I put the tweezers behind it, you might be able to see. Can we dive in here? Can you see? How can I demonstrate that? That's a bit silly, isn't it? Basically, you've got one, two, three, four, five loops inside. Pardon, does every percent have this problem? <laughs> there you go. I put my finger in it. That's what fingers are for. Random, I know. Um, so you can slide your tools in there as well. It's also really deep. Now, I did present this with Linda, who very quickly pointed out you could easily fit about four bottles of wine in there <laughs> how very linda to acknowledge that straight away but it's a good point because it's also a really ace picnic bag wouldn't it It'd be great if you're going out and about gonna go and have a little picnic sit out with all the lovely weather at the moment if you've got time in the day take a nice flask of coffee or tea uh, out with you all of your jewelry making um what was that to my sorry 
Oh, this is from Patricia. I love this bag. I got it ages ago and I use it every single day. Oh, Patricia, thank you so much for commenting on that, hun. I know we've got a lot of FIFA reviews, actually, on this one. Um, she's going to have a little gander on the FIFA reviews of this one. Thank you, my darling. Um, and it says, nice and roomy and will fit lots of tools. And that's from Margaret in Tyne and Weir. Thank you for doing that, Margaret. So it's really roomy. It it looks neat it looks chic it's professional it's great 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 quality it's sturdy there's nothing flimsy about it it's great quality zips on it so you can pack it full and the zips aren't going to go on it i mean it is an absolute essential i would say the majority of our designers have now got this and bring all of their kit and caboodle and bits and pieces in on a daily basis and i know maggie you're going to be getting one of these after your reaction on it earlier a bit of a ooh, because i do think it's you might see it on the tv screen but once you see it in real life you can appreciate the quality of it a lot more can't you yes i'm picking mine up later are you yes <laughs> you've yes. already got it amazing so free phone number 0800 644 i'll just set out those sorry silks that are still available those ones have gone okay there's a lot of you on the phone lines, I just want to reiterate that the other sari silk has, fall, um, has fallen out. No, that's sold out. Uh, this is available for you. GNZX42. It's got the handle here as well. It is extendable. I am a bagaholic. I'd have this every day of the week. You've seen a couple of the reviews that have come in. Somebody uses it every single day, that it's really good and roomy. It's great. It's the quality of it. And the thing is, it's going to come to you with one post and packaging price for all of your purchases all day. You might as well just go for it. One PMP all day, free phone number 0800 644 655. 1795. Can you even buy just a faux leather, so a plastic little handbag that's decent? Free phone number 0800 644 655. Um, what was that? Sorry, Kim. Okay, apparently we are, and I do apologise, we're experiencing huge volumes of calls and in doing so, it means that we've got a bit of a queue on the phone lines. The great news is we've got a good quantity of these in stock. Please do hold the phone lines. We're answering your call in the order that you've pressed your option one and it's free to phone us. We're not one of these channels that makes money off your phone calls and makes money off your posts and packaging. It's one post and packaging price all day. If you're calling off a landline, it's free. Some of you may be getting free calls off a of mobile as well, depending on your network and, for, and your Ujimar flip-flop tariff, all of that business. I had to do that yesterday. I had to change my tariff because my phone's on its way out. Oh, isn't that a pain? I felt very good though, because I did do some negotiating. I was like, Dwayne, <laughs> he was very lovely I said Dwayne that simply isn't meeting my needs I'm sorry you're gonna have to go back to your supervisor this is my requirement come back with another offer Dwayne I appreciate your work but again I have been with this network now for 11 years I'm sure there's something better you can do got the deal I wanted it was ace 17.95 I'm paying more than that a month uh, free phone number 0800 644 I know I'm quite proud of myself I did my Martin Lewis negotiating I did threaten to leave yes of course Dwayne I am well aware that I can get a better deal elsewhere and uh, and as much as you've been good to me you know financially got the deal I wanted yeah threatened to leave <laughs> this was not my, not my job. I don't want to leave my job. I'm not threatened to leave. Please, I don't want to lose my job. Um, no, that was my telephone network, people, mobile. Um, can't be doing with all that. Technology, isn't it? I don't do technology. 17.95 on this. So once again, you've got your two pouches at the lower part. Pouch above there as well. Zip on either side. Really good, sturdy handle. Adjustable strap. Enough space for at least four wine bottles in there. And places to put your tools. Separate compartment in the center. Sturdy, really good quality. Roomy. You'll love it, you'll love it, you'll love it. And I do think, yes, it says jewelry maker on it. It's a crafting bag. It's a picnic bag. 
is just a really ridiculously useful bag to have. Free phone number 0800 644 I do know a lot of our team and also within the Gems TV and Rocks TV uh, team as well that are based in the other studios. A lot of people are using these as their lunch bags and just general everything bag because they are so roomy. They are great. I actually think this would be a great bag for me. Obviously, I've got one for my jewelry making, but this would be a great bag for me to have in my car because I get so disorganized in my car. This would actually be quite good with all my various paraphernalia of all sorts of Charlie entertainment. I've got a 15, 16 month old little boy. He'll be 16 months next week. Um, 16 months, 16 months and still can't get him a pre-pregnancy clothes. Dreadful, eh? <laughs> Uh, um, <laughs> I know. 17 at 95 on the bag. Once again, I do apologise. We are experiencing huge volumes of calls. I know that there's a lot of you waiting to get it. Okay, we are going to, you know what we're going to do? We're going to go to a short break so we can just let everything settle down and me and Maggie will have a cup of tea, a bit of a gas bag. And when we come back, hopefully everything will be sorted for you and we can continue without any frustration. But we've got lots of different ways you can buy. Should we show you a little bit about the website? Here it is. <laughs> Maker ships to the following countries. We offer two delivery services, standard and premium. So wherever you are in the world, Jewelry Maker are never far away. We all know that you need the right tools for the job. So here at Jewelry Maker, we have developed our very own tool set just for you. In this larger set, we have provided more tools to help you develop your jewellery making skills even further. The kit includes wire cutters, a bead reamer with replacement tips, an awl, tweezers with a scoop, a sliding gauge, a snip and all the essential pliers you will need. All of this is yours for just $15.95, neatly presented in a carrying case with an embossed jewellery maker logo. Stay tuned for more advice, tutorials and demonstrations of jewellery making. We provide the tools, you provide the skill. If you have a question or query for Jewellery Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewellerymaker.com. Started. I'm so sorry if some of your dogs have just started weeping at the TV. Um, uh, sorry about that high pitch. Um, please, can you repeat that again? Sorry. The metallic tones. Okay. I am so sorry. We have had a technical problem because everything crashed behind the scenes. Can I? Can I just tell you something here? Okay. You know how we have technical difficulties and we tell you about them? I know we might appear like a shopping channel that has a lot of them, 
But please remember, we are continually live unless it's in the middle of the night. So whereas some other channels put out recorded one hour programs consecutively, you'd never know about the technical difficulties that take place. So it's because we're live all the time and we, we do experience them. Sometimes it's totally our fault uh, and it's an IT fault or it's a call center fault. Sometimes it's a network problem. Sometimes it's a channel operating problem. So I do really apologize. Um, they do happen on other channels, but it's because we're live and it's because we tell you we're having them. We could actually just ignore it and just carry on like nothing's happening, but we want to keep you in the loop. Now, because we had a problem before, for a moment it said that we'd sold out of these. We haven't. We've got them. We've still got some in stock. So, the antique bronze, the copper, and the rose gold colour. We've still got them in stock. Let's do them, let's do them, let's do them jump on the phone line before the phone lines crash. So you've got this gorgeous rose gold, copper and antique bronze. Now there's 125 meters on each spool. Please start dialing now. We are aware that things should be absolutely fine for you to call up right now on 0800 655. Thank you so much for bearing with us with those technical difficulties. Once again, we are continually live. We don't put out continual one hour pre-recorded shows. And it also means that we can react to you live as well. There's, okay, so there's the negatives about being completely live. But the positives are, if you've got queries, we can pretty much answer them there and then. If you have questions for Maggie, we can answer them there and then. Have we had any questions for Maggie today? No? No? Lots of people saying that they can't um, buy, you wanted to buy. I am so sorry. And if I could wave a magic wand, I would make sure that it was all fixed in instance. And I'm so sorry. Um, but believe me, everybody who can possibly do anything to fix it is. And, and it's fixed. So let's get them. £6.95. Um, we're going to do the wire twister tool next. Now, have you had much experience with the wire twister tool? Is that the kind of pliersy one? Yeah. Yeah, you have used it quite a few times. It's amazing. It's great. Can we do a quick demo, please? Yeah, if I can set up a... Thank you very something. much. Because this is the wire twister tool. What is it, Mike? The wire twister tool. Oh, come on, do it in your best voiceover voice. Uh, the wire twister tool. Thank you. Um, is there one in the drawer? Is there, um, Amelia, would you know if we've got a one? There is. She's way ahead. She's way ahead of you. Um, I'll hold it if you want. Do you usually put it on a stand? No, but I usually put it around the door handle. I can be your door handle if you want. I don't want to sort of pull tight on your fingers. I what did I do you. last time? Okay, that's cool. Brilliant. Okay, cool. So, the wire twisting pliers. What you're looking at here is the ability to consistently twist and at high speed. At consistently twist at high speed so you get an amazing twist. Now I did mention earlier that we have had fantastic designs done with twisting wire and the sari threads. Twisting all the wires. Now it's also really fab for twisting beading threads. And you can twist the beading thread to such an extent it becomes like wire. Gemma Crow does that a lot on the shows and it looks amazing. So we're going to go over to Maggie, we're going to go and see this in action. she says whilst having a slurp of tea. Oh, Amelia, you make a cracking brew. Okay. Yeah, I'm just trying to find a slightly brighter colour of, here we go, beading wire. So we've got two contrasting colours. So you're going to do beading thread opposed to Sorry, wire. beading thread. And the now wire, wire will show it better, won't this. it? Let me see if we can just find some wire. Which, that drawer there? This one here, thank that you. That there? It's like a whole amazing, like, Aurora of wire, the chartreuse in the pink. Oh, oh, oh. And then, yeah, is that we have a drawer that's literally wire tastic in there. Anything that you want, you can grab. Oh, those colours are going to look amazing together. So, the great thing about the wire twister tool is that you will get a consistent twist. It also means, as well, so say you've got a lot of 0 0.25. 0 0.25, if you twist it and you put it perhaps with another 0 0.25, you can turn it into the equivalent of a 0.5 or three lots of 0.75. So it can make your wire really, really versatile as well. Right, have you ever twisted a coil? 
as well. That's quite cool. Can have a really good play. So all that's happening here is Maggie has got her gizmo, okay, um, and twisting the wire around it. But basically, you could just do with an end to secure it. Most people tend to use a door handle. We don't have any door handles to hand, uh, so we will, yeah, use use the gizmo, which is ace. Okay. Right. So that's nice and firm. So it's a kind of complicated looking bit of kit. Sorry, who shall I show but it? So really it looks it looks hot. a bit like something you get in a dentist surgery. <laughs> yeah, it does. <laughs> it does, yeah. And what you need to do is grasp the wire in the jaws here. Right, okay, so if I pop it. So you grasp the wire in the jaws and then you have to lock them into place using this here. Yeah. So you have to really push hard on that and then lock them into place with that. Okay. okay, so let's see that in action with the actual wire. Right. I think Mike's going to be able to get you. So you if we just keep it high up, he should hopefully be able to see. So you're right. going to pincer the wire in the pliers. Yeah. Once it. you've pincered the wire in, you put you squeeze the handles together and you push that centre part down and that will lock the handles in place. She says, we're on live TV. Right. Yeah. Okay. Nope, still haven't got it locked down. Bear with That's me. certainly the principle. I'm going to try it and slide it different a different angle. Oh, goodness. Do you want me to do it? Just do you want me try to it. have a try? try. Nope. Oh, this one doesn't want to do it. Right, let me talk you through the principle of it then. I'll show you it. Um, so basically, all you would do is that you pop this, this has never happened before, we do demonstrate it a lot on the telly, you squeeze it together and when you squeeze it together you squeeze the handles and then you push this into place, that locks it into place and then you literally just start pulling. Why is that doing that then? I'm going to, try, I'm going to take the green wire off Okay. And try it with the, the, the bronze because it's slightly, slightly finer. Um, shall we bring, we'll bring in the price for you. Oh it's locked now. Do you know what? It Typically, fine. it's just locked. It's just worked. Why is it not doing that then? I wonder. Do you know what it is? When you've got okay, yeah, we've just been informed. When you've got a thicker gauge of wire, you need. I don't think we were squeezing hard enough. That's all it is. So, oh, we've got a VT of it. Here we got go. It. Got it. Oh, it's done. It's done. Just done it. Let's just take it out to show we weren't cheating and yeah, just show sure. you again. What I've done this time with the two bits of wire, I've laid them beside each other. Okay. So I've laid them like that rather than rather crossing each other. Okay. So I've been more accurate in placing it in the jaw of the pliers. Then so squashed, there you go. That's a little Then squashed it there. down and locked it. <laughs> no, we're not doing it. Let's go to this VT. <laughs> I've got it done. Oh, it's done it. It's done it. <laughs> right. Okay. So it's, it's really strange. Do you know what? I bet it's because we put hand, it was because we put hand cream on in the break and it's sliding it's everywhere. Sliding I bet you. Yeah. Okay, so. So it's really strange because you don't hold this bit, you just rest this bit in your hand and you pull this bit here. So you pull that and the wire, the pliers go round and you can see there's some sort of funny thing at the end there, twisty bit, and then you let that go. And let it go. Is that okay? That's not going to come off there, is it? No. And you just keep on doing that. And it's pull and release, pull and release. And carry on. Obviously, you don't want to do it too much because you're weakening the wire a lot. Probably do Gorgeous. it like a couple of times. So if you do this with two colours, it looks lovely. It looks really nice. So there you go. You just keep twisting and releasing. So you pull, release, pull, release, and look what happens. So you know when we're talking about making your own torques out of wire, that is the perfect solution to do so. So there you go. You squeeze together. As you squeeze, you lock it into place, and then using the very end of the tool, you can see you pull it out. So put it between finger and thumb, and as you pull it out, it twists, and then you just release it. And again, pull and release, and it's as simple as that. And there's just there's your final piece. The great thing is as well, you can then take that, fold it in half, put it again in the end, 
mm -hmm. and twist it again and keep going so on and so forth so you can actually get quite substantial pieces now the reason that these won't lock weren't locking before is the the more that you have in there the thicker the gauge the harder you have to squeeze so if you do have dexterity issues it's probably a good idea to get somebody else to squeeze them for you so I wasn't strong enough to squeeze it with the, the higher gauge of wire but once it's in place it's the pulling action of just untwisting it is so 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 simple so uh, let's bring the price on screen for you if I can see the call screens as well please thank you very much 14 I, haven't they been more than that TX ZX73, I really, 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 really recommend them. Now, once again, if you are on the phone lines and you're in a bit of a queue, don't worry. We're just having huge, huge, huge volumes of calls. So please just make sure you use pressure option one and speak to our fabulous call center. And at 14.95, they're a tool that you would not be without. Definitely, definitely. Maggie, thank you so much, my lovely. I'm gonna whiz <laughs> over to the desk. Oh, I tell you, it's all happening today. We've got twister tools not wanting to just destroy a set. Excuse me a second. Oh, she's twisting away now. What do you have? You twisted it over and you double, double it over and twisted it. And they've all gone in fine. Yeah, no problem. Just spread them out in the jaws. So as long as you have them spread out in the jaws, okay. you're fine. If you have them crossing over, they're making it that much thicker at that particular point. So if you keep them as so flat that's as a possible. little a little knack that we've. There you go. Fallen over that little trick completely by accident, by trial and error on air. So when you put your wires into the end of the pliers, make sure they're not crossing each other. Have them all sat evenly. Sat side by side, yes. Yeah. Fab, can we just have a look at that piece of wire there? Of course you can. Drop it to bring. Just down on the, uh, on the mat would be great. Thank you very much. Perfect. And that is then the twisted wire Twist. twisted around itself. So you fold it in half and twist it again. That's fab. What? That's really fab. Right then, let's move on. Where should we go to? Oh, right. Now then. How many of you have been desperate? Oh, no, we haven't got many of these available at all. This is 925 sterling silver wire with a nine carat uh, yellow gold overlay. Now it is one mil wire and it is so beautiful this is perfect for making rings how stunning as well would the zabarite garnet be mm. just beautiful just just beautiful so one millimeter wire 925 sterling silver, nine carat yellow gold. So with this prestigious nature of wire, maybe if you're gonna be making, again, a special piece of jewelry, bridal jewelry, um, special occasion jewelry, when you're using gemstone shines of distinction, they, I mean, it is beautiful. Sorry, I've said it's one mil, haven't I? Sorry, it's one meter of 0.6, apologies. Oh, great, now the great thing about it being 0.6 is it's perfect for making your own findings, isn't it? Now, we do not sell nine carat yellow gold findings at the moment. We do not sell nine carat yellow gold on top of a 925 sterling silver finding. We do not have any shepherd hooks at all in stock. Nine carat yellow gold on top of 925 sterling silver. So you've got a meter of this. 0.6 is perfect for doing your own shepherd hooks as well. Free phone number 0800 644 I would really seriously get this while you can because once it's in stock, it's not going to be in for long. We are going to do it on special offer today. Vicky, congratulations to you. David, Susan, Anna, Rosaline, Alison, people in, uh, lots of new people there. Greater Manchester, Tyne and Weir, Lincolnshire, Kent, Devon, Flintshire. Free phone number 0800 644 655 for a metre. Have a look around elsewhere. Can you price compare to anywhere else? Remember, this is great quality wire as well. It's a 925 sterling silver wire with a nine carat yellow gold overlay. 795, the code is OEP019. Good luck, good luck, good luck. I've got the rose gold version coming up as well in a moment. Free phone number 0800 644 If you are gonna be using high-end gemstones, it's an absolute must have. Free phone number for you. Good luck, everyone. A meter of the point six. Okay, we'll move on to the rose gold version. 
Now, rose gold is hugely popular at the moment. It's probably the most on trend of all the golds. Here is, is how it's going to arrive to you, all wrapped up. And again, it's the 0.6. One metre of the 0.6. So again, it's going to be perfect for making your own shepherd hooks. Great for making little stud earrings as well. You'd need very little, but the 0.6 will easily go through a piercing and it will easily, of course, go through your gemstones. EQ P061. Free phone number 0800 644 Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful quality. £7.95. Beautiful quality. Lovely, lovely tone to it. Really warm tone to it. Gorgeous colour. And it's going to work really, really nicely, especially with some of those sari threads that we brought to you in the last pack. Once again, I hugely apologise for our technical difficulties that we've got today. Uh, free phone number 0800 644 655. A metre of that rose gold plated 925 sterling silver wire, 0.6. It is so beautiful. And you're flying in for this one. Free phone number 0800 644 five. Congratulations, Marion and Hazel. Lots of anonymous people there. Uh, Barbara's there, Terry, Susan, Supriya. I've got Sally and, oh, goodness me, you're flying in very, very quickly. Please do make sure you press your option one as you're calling in on the phone lines and press that buy now button on the website. Now also coming up for you, goodness me, 2,400 findings on their way. 2,400 findings. Now the great thing is as well, they come in all their own individual um, little uh, boxes. See how exciting is it just to go to your jewelry making stash and see that many shepherd hooks just ready and raring to go. That's cool isn't it? Oh! Isn't it? Or, let me look at them! 2,400! All those jump rings. Saw cut jump rings. Perfect for chain mail. Massive amounts of saw cut jump rings. And loads, loads more. Loads, 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 loads more. Okay, we're going to do our next and our final new kit of the show, actually. So, Maggie, if I may um, let you know that we're going to be coming up to the next kit. Next. Okay, let me show you this. I gave you a bit of a heads up on this before uh, the show, or just as we started the show. And it is amazing. Now, again, the sorry threads that you see used within this are going to be coming up straight after the kit. And in this one, uh, the green and the silver have been used. Isn't this amazing? Now, again, with this kit, we're going to do an amazing bonus gift, particularly uh, useful for Kumihimo. So if I show you the back of this necklace, you see the Kumihimo ends and the toggle clasp. They are going to be a bonus free gift. In fact, there's loads of them and lots of different sizes coming as a bonus free gift with this kit. So, oh, goodness me, it's all about the colour in this one. Colour, 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 colour. I'll be taking that. Remind me to take that over there in just a second. Oh my word, look at the sari ribbon. Ooh. Goodness me, it's like being taken into, oh. Goodness, there's, there's a real, it's, there's a real difference to this one. Very, very, the colours are so vibrant. Goodness, for anybody who works with textiles, this must be an absolute dream. Yep, Maggie is nodding away there, being a qualified textile expert. Look, they're gorgeous, really, really gorgeous. Completely different flair to them. Really very reminiscent of the look that you'd see in the markets within India and Bali. Um, just, ah, oh, gorgeous. BKGC85, look at those. So amazingly gorgeous, gorgeous colours with that, excuse me. Oh, I've got a cold brewing, so I keep almost sneezing, but not quite attractive. Right, all your beading threads, silver colour beading thread, 50 metres, 6 metres clear elastic, 80 metres of monofilament. 
and then 115 findings. Now with your findings with these, this is our new findings pack, you get such an amazing variety. I'll show you a few more of these. Um, in fact, I'll show you, let me show you the chain. Because I don't think, we've, uh, we've not looked at the chain today, I don't think that picture does the chain justice. So it's really, really very, very elegant. Now, as I'm looking over to the jewellery that has been made, it's fair to say that hardly any of the findings have needed to be used because of your bonus free gift, which is great. It means that this kit, which is going under £30 and then some, is even better value for money because you can just spread it across so many of the beads that you've already got in your stash. Isn't that beautiful? Beautiful, 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 Jane. So 115 findings, which, in fact... Let's have a look again. You've got 45 head pins, uh, 15 of which are the flat head pins, 30 of which are the ball head pins. You've got uh, ribbon cord extenders, you've got toggle clasps, you've got shepherd hooks, you've got jump rings, you've got crimp beads, you've got crimp bead covers, you've got rope style, um, little rings, you've got the chain in there, all 115 of them. Now, the three gemstone strands. Mm. Look at this. Stunning. This is the most vibrant green colour quartz. They are 10 millimetre faceted rounds. It's a 36 centimetre strand. And look at that richness, that vibrancy of the colour. Then you've got these really, really beautiful, 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 beautiful labradorite. Very distinctively uh, seen as Labradorite as well. The colour and the backdrop that we'd usually expect of this silvery tone. And you can see you've got the flashes of light. Look at that. Little flashes of the blues and little delicate pinks and golden tones. Wow, this kit should be over £40. £40 and 15 pence. Now you can also see on that list that you're going to be getting Peridot and you're also going to be receiving Kumihimo uh, findings. Now, in terms of the peridot, look at this. I had some training on peridot yesterday, actually. Um, I'll tell you more about it. I'm just going to consolidate quite a lot of the information that I heard. But basically, it's an incredible gemstone that's proving to be harder and harder and harder to source. We don't see much of it at all. And the reason being... There's only a couple of mines in the world that give you really good gemstone quality. A lot of it has black dots all through it. That's beautiful. Now, every single one is hand faceted and hand drilled as well. It's a 38 centimetre strand. So the gemstone strands are the green quartz, peridot and labradorite. So a real sort of foresty feel with these. You've then got 115 findings. You've also got, of course, the sari silks. But the bonus gift, again, is the Kumihimo findings pack. Now, this is a bonus gift for you today. You're going to be receiving four of these. These are fabulous. Do you know what? These are super popular just by themselves. You can literally pop a torque through that. You don't have to use it for Kumihimo, but obviously you can put your Kumihimo braids through it. You can also pack it full of polymer clay or silver clay. You can use it alongside resin and enamel. But you're going to be getting... These little ends... There's a lot of you getting this. I think the fact that you get this as a bonus gift is a big wow factor. Okay, so one, two, three, four of these. You're also going to be getting four toggle clasps okay four of these and then ten of the oval shaped jump rings
Okay, you can see a lot of people have already got this. We are going to be going over to Maggie and seeing how she's used the rest of the kit as well. But the big focal point, of course, being that amazing flower on that necklace, should be £40.15. And any of the sari thread that has been used, we're going to be doing straight after we've completed the kit. So BKGC85, amazing, at £21.95. Maggie looks slightly in shock. Um, yeah, £21.95, so that's three strands of genuine gemstones, all the sari silk, 115 findings, all your threading materials, and the Kumi Hemo finest pack as well comes as your bonus gift. So let's have a look at what else has been made. Well, first of all, we can fo well, we'll focus on this one in a moment, actually because it's just gorgeous the other pieces that you've made as well really really pretty this is so elegant this will be love it's quite delicate for the next time isn't it yeah so it's using it's using the labradorite which is just gorgeous and so what i wanted to do was concentrate on the beads and so not have too much going on so that the beads would stand out by themselves uh, i'm going to put that on if that's okay so you can see the light being able to get to it. Oh, look, and you've used one of the ribbon cord ends. It's lovely. Let me show you this with the S clasp. That are lovely. The great thing about these as well is if you do any stamping, you can stamp onto them and personalise it with the stars and things. I'll pop this on the neckline. Over half the stock of this kit has now gone. Already. What if I just move that there? Isn't that pretty? It's really delicate. At least I hope it is. That's yeah. what I was trying to Oh, it's for. lovely. It's amazing because you wouldn't have thought that's from the same kit as this. You wouldn't, would you? No. This is from the same kit as this. So it goes to show how versatile it is. Now, Maggie has also made a couple of pairs of earrings. So pretty. And goes to show you the two different shepherd hooks as well uh, being used. Oh, isn't that lovely? So, so that you've used this. Oh, look, no. So the little jump. jump yeah. Lovely, really lovely. And those delicate little peridot, they're so adorable. So, so cute. And then the three strands of gemini and gemstones there. But this is the piece that we're going to focus on. Now, if you can see that vibrant green and the vibrant and silver thread going through, they are the sari threads of which we're going to be bringing to you momentarily. But look at this. It's all about that amazing flower <laughs> for me. It's stunning. Now, what you can see as well is that Maggie has very much drawn out sort of the more mustardy and chocolate brown tones for the main part of the necklace. And then the more sort of fuchsia and vibrant colours for the flower itself. Itself. Again, I can see that just standing alone as a big chunky exactly. brooch on a winter coat. Oh. You have a winter coat, you could put it in a bag as well. Yep. Yeah. yeah. Um, Beautiful. Just put a brooch back in the back and that's you. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so, now this is really interesting how you've done this. It's actually quite simple, it's quite quick. So okay. So I'll just unwind this. This is my sort of, my homage to London and the O2 Arena. Oh, goodness. Because <laughs> it, it looks a bit like the yeah, two <laughs> with the pins in it. So what I've done is I've started off by drawing out a circle. This is about probably about 12 centimetres in diameter. Yeah. And then using that old school trick of, of subdividing it, I've divided it into 12. So I can't remember the exact tins and outs, but you sort of twist around your pair of compasses and you manage to get your, your points. So I've put little red dots in, little pink dots in, to where the 12 different pins are going to go. Okay. Uh, Get your kids to show you. They, I'm sure they must know this type of thing about how to twiddle your compass and get little curvy bits in there and subdivide it. <laughs> so then I've put pins, and those are ordinary dressmakers' pins with, with fairly big heads on them, so they're not, the yarn's not going to slip off. I've put them in at a slight angle, so that the yarn again isn't going to slip off. If you put them in straight up and down like that, then the tension is going to make them bend that way. Oh, yeah? uh, okay. So Good that's point. why that's why they bent slightly out. Okay. When I got the when I got the sari silk, I took off the, the skein, took off the hank and just wound it into a ball. So this is a ball that I've made this from as well. Okay. And as you say, you get all sorts of different colours happening in it. Yeah. Yep. So you can actually go through it and you can select what you want and what you, you know, what you don't want. Gosh, it looks like you could even knit with it. I thought a really chunky little bag would be fabulous if you knitted oh, it. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, yeah, So you yeah. can knit just, just a small sort of chunky little bag mm. and put some lining on it perhaps. So just select a point. Yeah, and what you, I'm going to do is just wind it around those pins. There. 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 Oh, hang on. I need to put the 
the gold, uh, the green coloured thread in with it as well. Okay. So you just literally do it at the same time. So I'm doing it at the same time. Yes. Sorry, what was that, Kim? We've got less than twenty of these kits now left. Okay. So you're literally taking it around. So I'm taking it around, moving on to the next, the next pin. Each time. So it goes directly opposite. Yes, and then it comes back to the one the next, next one. to it. Yep. So I'm getting all mixed up here with my bits of cord. Bear with me. Right, okay. And so I just went round twice on each one. Anything more and it gets really bulky in the middle. So, twice I think is enough because it's got such the yarn it's, uh, or the, the sari silk itself is quite quite thick. So I think doing it twice is enough. So that's got two on it. That's got two on it. Okay. And what I'll do if I can find one of my pins, I'll just pin that there just to keep it safe while I do the next bit. So I've already got a, a needle threaded up, and I used a sort of blunt-ended needle. You can get them from haberdashery shops. Just but it's blunt in the end, so you're not going to pierce yourself. So if you get your kids to do this, they're not going to hurt themselves with it. Okay. Double the thread up. Sorry, double the sari thread up. And then... And so how much do you think you've got on there? You know, I never thought of measuring it. <laughs> okay. Do you know the amount of designers that say that to us? Because I suppose if you just used to I think when you just it. I mean, you just use it. Yeah. Probably looks a couple of metres. Yeah, but I wouldn't have thought much more than a couple of metres. <coughs> I think you okay. get quite a number. I mean, so far from this kit, this is what's left. That's been done with it, and the, the neckband as well, and this has been done with it. So, yeah, this is so all from the, same the, the amount of thread that you've used alongside it, yeah. Yeah, probably I, a couple of metres. And the same with the, the sari thread. Yeah. yeah. So, what I'm now doing with this is I'm going to weave it in and out, or sew it in and out, maybe I should say. Go over the top. And what you need to do is move it along every time. So when I say move it along, what you're going to do is you're going to go over the top and into the next one. So I'm going to go into this one here. This is fab. I so you're going completely under everything. So I'm going completely under everything, yes. So in the same way that you laid down the threads before, yes, in the same what it pattern. Is. Yep. So turn it round. I'm going to put it into this one. We will be doing the sari thread next. Don't worry. Got lots of people going. Ah, when are you doing it? Take it under here. Move it over there. So it's to make sure that every single bit is actually is actually caught mm -hmm. in. Uh, where have I not been? I've not been here. So that then holds it all together quite nicely, ready for the next little stage. Yep. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take the pins out. And Ooh, that will give you Oh, how exciting! And that's your flower shape. So what... What I think you would be better doing is perhaps running this around a few more times like it's been on the, on the big piece. But what I want to do is go onto the back and just sew it all into place to make sure it's all mm. safe and secure. It's so arty, <laughs> isn't it? Mm. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Sorry, I was just, my mind was racing ahead there, the word arty. It's quite crafty, isn't it? Arty crafty. It, arty as in it looks so as in artistic there's a flair to it it looks like something that you'd see judy dench wearing it does doesn't it yeah yeah, yeah just on a great big pin as you say yeah coat. so i go or, over the front. Uh, like on that necklace you could see her just you know popping to the ivy for lunch darling <laughs> and then just go over the front again and eventually at some point you're going to tie it off 
Now, you could add beads. I didn't add beads to mine because I wasn't sure how far the beads were going to go. But the beads I have around the bottom here, you could actually add a few of those in the centre if you wish. Yeah, nice. Or you could emphasise, you could actually use more green thread. Yeah, lovely. And that's as simple as that. I mean, that's, that's, that's oh, what it is. It's just raw. Isn't it? And it's raw. <laughs> and the character, of course, comes from the, comes from the sari silk. It's beautiful. Mm. Absolutely beautiful. It's also like something I'd imagine Titania in a Midsummer Night's Dream wearing. Mm. In a, you know, just that. What, in her hair? Or? Yeah, or mystical. Yeah, just. I don't know if there's something truly about it. I'd like that's the idea obviously. of a winter coat. Maybe that's because I'm northern. Yeah, me too. Yeah. The, w the winter coat that you'll pull out in July. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That never goes back in the wardrobe again. Yeah, yet. totally. Uh, so twenty one ninety five for the kit. You're, of course, going to get those three strands. We're going to get the sari ribbon as well, also included, and the kumihimo findings. You get so much in there. Remember, a typical kit would be three strands of gemstones, your threading pack, and your, um, your findings. So to get this kit with the kumihimo findings and the sari ribbon throughout strands as well, it's just brilliant. But we're going to do the sari thread now. Uh oh, cause greens are in trouble. Okay, this is this is slightly problematic for us because it's so in demand. Let's hope systems don't crash by overload. Take your time, we've got plenty to go round. Phone now. It's already going. It is absolutely bonkers. The phone lines are getting bonkers. If you can shop on the website, do so. Get more than one of these. And do you know what? I'm going to say something that I really didn't expect myself to say before Easter. Think about Christmas. <laughs> Obviously, with that red and that green. Oh, 0800 six treble four six double five you've got that amazing red the vibrant silver and the emerald green there's something obviously about that emerald green and the ruby thread and i'm thinking carol would love this because she's the biggest fan of the wizard of oz free phone number you've never watched the wizard of oz what how can you have not seen the wizard of oz kim how can you not have seen the wizard of oz it's not your cup of tea. Follow the yellow brick road. Follow the yellow brick road. Should we bring the price in? It's six ninety five, by the way. <laughs> oh eight hundred six double four six double five W S R K five two. You can use your Visa. You can use your Mastercard. Get more than one, folks. Chloe, one of our managers, has also just called down to say that she is not a fan of The Wizard of Oz. Do you like The Wizard of Oz? Not really, no. It's not. not. It's years since I've seen it. Maybe my tastes have changed since then. <laughs> you see, in my head, that sounds really like a munchkin. Everyone's looking at me like <laughs> I'm completely living on a different planet. I am, in fact, living in the Emerald City. £6.95. But you know what? Forget the Wizard of Oz then. They're just great colours. Free phone number 0800 644 644? I have no idea what that accent was either. 655. I'm sorry. And my cold and flu remedy is starting to kick in. Oh. Uh, I'm blaming sales manager Scott because apparently he's brought a lurgy to the company. Don't worry, I'm using antibacterial hand wash, everyone, between touching things. Don't worry, don't worry. £6.95. Now, most people are buying more than one. I think that's the most sensical thing to do. The great thing is we're getting through your calls really quickly and there are, touch wood, at this point in time, no graphical technical issues um touch wood we've only got 50 of those remaining now so if you've got it in your basket check out now or it's going to go it's going to absolutely go it will sell it will definitely sell out today so at 6.95 now we're going to go over to the wall of fame don't worry we are still we've still got a bit of stock of that available hold the line make sure you press your option one if you haven't yet called up i don't know if you're going to get it i really i would in fact i'd probably say maybe stop calling 
at 6.95 it might be worth a try i can't guarantee you're going to be successful on it though that is the last opportunity to get that one free phone number 0800 6 645 but right now should we go to the wall of fame let's go to the wall of fame There are some seriously inspiring designs here. The first one is 399, it's here. This is from Kathleen Warrington. Hi, Toilet JM, here's my first attempt at a rose. That's amazing. Hope. <laughs> I would like to tell you, Kathleen Warrington, who sent this in, that my producer, Kim, has just gone, that's well pretty. Uh, you are 399, good luck. And this is another stunning one, number 400. Beautiful. Isn't that amazing? So this is from Kim. Uh, it says, my first fascinating, fascinating fascinator using silver mesh wire and I forgot my spectacles and left them over on the table. I can't read it. Would you Can like you me to read it for you? you? Yes. Uh, hi, Jen. My first fascinator using mesh at silver wire 1 mil and 0.4. Tiara band pearls and silver beads. Absolutely everything from JM, of course. And again, really sore fingers. <laughs> Regards to all the Wall of Famers and good luck from Kim, number 400. Thank you. That's fabulous. <laughs> that is fabulous. As is this 401. This is from Bernadine in Cambridgeshire. At last, I haven't been able to make jewellery for ages, and it's been really frustrating. But today, I've made this set for my sister Rosie, who loves blue and has been amazingly supportive during my recent illness. She deserves sapphires, but I hope that she likes this kyanite and sterling silver necklace and earrings. Wishing the jewellery maker team all the very best of health, Bernadine in Cambridgeshire. Well, Bernadine, we're hoping that whatever you've been through, that you're on the road to recovery hun and that is a really beautiful piece of jewelry and i know you're saying she deserves sapphires but this is kyanite kyanite is also incredibly precious so don't think just by having kyanite you're not giving anything of a great uh, of the same quality that they're, they're beautiful that's a beautiful beautiful it set the earrings are adorable mm -hmm. 401 good luck i know the specs yes i have thank you back in the land of thanks sight. amelia right so this is number 400 sorry 402 and this is another wire work piece uh, and this is from tracy in south yorkshire <gasps> look you've done alison house techniques isn't it amazing oh yes this is my entry for the wall of fame this week a baby rattle and booty made for a lady at work who's having a first baby oh how lovely i used one millimeter and 0.4 millimeter silver 0 0.8 turquoise wire with silver pearls for the rattle and then one millimeter, 0.6 millimeter, and four millimeter blue wire for the booty with blue hematite rounds and a hematite heart, also for the booty, all from JM. Hope they're good enough to be shown. I think they are. Gorgeous. They're fantastic. And good luck to all entries this week. Keep up the good work. Fantastic. Absolutely amazing. Really fab. Tracy, good luck to you. And oh, I just oh, I love this. 403 Annie Cook. Hi, JM. My entry is a bracelet and earrings made with 0.8. Uh, sorry, 8mm aquamarine rounds and 1mm silver wire, all from JM. It's great to see all the bright colours coming in and how it makes feel like spring is here. Keep up the good work. It says from Annie Cook. Annie, 403, keep up the good work to you as well, hun. That's absolutely amazing. Really, really lovely. Now we are going to go to a short break where we're going to... Um, oh, we've got the... Zav when we come back, we're going to be doing the... Zavarite garnet. It is amazing. I've got a great story to tell you about that and where, is it, where it's from. And also those incredible 2,400 <laughs> findings come up, up for you. But in the, uh, in the break, we're going to let you know how you can get in contact with us here at Jewelry Maker. Here we go. Get involved with Jewelry Maker by sending the studio a message during our live hours. You can send a text to 60777 and start your message with JM Studio or alternatively, go to our website and click on watch the live show. Simply type your message into the box and press send. Make sure you stay tuned in case your message is read out. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Tune in to The Late Show every day on Jewelry Maker. Kicking off the action with low stock high end at 5 p.m. Next up at 6, we have Pick of the Week. At 7 p.m., it's clearance. And to end the show, don't miss Viewer's Choice at 8 p.m. The Late Show every day at 5 p.m. on Jewelry Maker. 
Add a mystery gift to your order today and you'll receive a surprise full of fantastic treats and goodies with a huge saving guaranteed. Check out our online reviews from Jewelry Maker customers who have previously purchased one of these mystery gifts. Go on, treat yourself with a little gift. You can now keep in touch by liking Jewelry Maker UK on Facebook. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. When shopping with Jewelry Maker, you can add as many items to your order in one day and only pay one postage and packaging charge. We have two delivery options. Standard delivery at just £2.95 and you'll receive your parcel within four to six days. Or opt for our premium delivery at just £4.95 and you'll receive your parcel within three to four days. Happy shopping with Jewelry Maker. You can now watch clips from Jewelry Maker on our YouTube channel. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker have an extensive range of DVDs for all abilities. Each of our mediums has an introductory DVD to help you get started. If you're already an experienced Jewelry Maker, we have a collection of projects and more advanced DVDs to take your designs to the next level. We are always filming new DVDs with our specialist guest designers, so visit our website for more information. You can now keep in touch by following Jewelry Maker on Twitter. Get interactive with Jewelry Maker. Jewelry Maker course gift vouchers are now available. You can choose from a bronze, silver or gold voucher. Each voucher is worth a different amount that entitles you to put towards a course of your choice. For more information, contact our call centre on 0800 644 655. is some of the world's... It's, I've never presented it on this channel before. I've never presented it. When I used to present on Gems TV, I remember um, whenever we had it on screen, it would sell out incredibly quickly. It's gone incredibly rare. In the 1970s, so let me take you back. This was discovered by a gentleman who um, only passed away a few years ago. I remember it was because I adore this gemstone so much. I even remember the night when we found out he passed away. And um, it was called Campbell Art Bridges. Amazing, amazing, amazing gemstone saucer. Um, really lovely man um, and incredibly, incredibly talented in what he did. Now he discovered this back in 1968. 1968, that is so recent in the world of jewelry making, well, in the world of gemstones. It is going already. For any of you who have knowledge about this gemstone, you'll be buying it in the bucket load if you could, because the very scary thing is, in the early 1970s, so it was discovered in 1968, so from once it's discovered, the mines have to then be built and then the mining process then begins so it was starting in about the early 1970s once all the mines so they'd found where it had been they traced where it was all going to be then they started the process of mining and digging so in about the 1970s there were 40 about 40 mines do you know how many there are now four yeah scary hey now it is a member of the Garnet family, but it's the Zavarite form, which is this green. This is from the only source that we've actually ever gone to in Africa. Now it's in, in Kenya. Um, and it's on the, it's actually, where, if you look at a map of where it's sourced, it's actually on the Kenyan and Tanzanian border. Literally on, on the Tanzanian border, you have Tanzanite. And on the Kenyan border, just into Kenya, that's where Savarite was found. So it's quite amazing because around that area, it's, it's quite, I want to tell you something that's happened. Um, in, the, in that area of the world, you've got these two incredible tectonic plates. And as they've met, they've basically concertinaed. And where they've concertinaed and then the earth shifted, they have, they've, they've literally, these plates have almost 
tilted as well. And then in the little pockets above and below in these con where it's constant. Amelia, have you got me a piece of paper, please? Mm -hmm. That's one. Oh no, that's Matt. I'm going to show you. Thank you, darling. Thank you. Right. Thanks. This is what's happened. The quickest demo you're ever going to see <laughs> of tectonic plates. I am no uh, geography teacher. But, so you imagine, there's a plate here, there's a plate here, and they've met, and as they've met, they've done this. Okay? What's happened then is they've then tilted. Now, tanzanite is something that's found in all these deposits under here, but around the same plate, this, I just, I'm showing you this to show you how much movement has happened in the Earth's crust to create this incredible zone, for want of a better word, where we find a lot of rubies, tons of light, and then on the other border, it's Savarite garnet, but it's getting incredibly, incredibly rare. Now, we can't, we can't make Mother Nature do that again. It is, it is so incredibly extraordinary and this gemstone is really, really in demand. It's a gemstone that's so in demand, you see it in the likes of some of the world's biggest, biggest jewellers are using Savarite garnet. It's a massive deal for us to have this here at Jewel Maker. It is already going. Now then, let me see, there's a lot of you um, flying in for this already. Okay, now in terms of the really, really amazing um, in sort of um, depth of colour, what you're seeing here is it has got a comparison, obviously, to, uh, to emeralds. But actually, it has a higher brilliance. So it's going to sparkle even more so than emeralds. And actually, a lot of people have said that it has a better colour than emeralds. It's actually a thousand times rarer than an emerald as well. And because of this higher dispersion, this higher brilliance, it is very much in demand. Now the chances are you might have not come across it before, you just don't see it in the high street these days, because let's face it, there used to be 40 mines and now there are only four commercial mines. Over the last decade, so 10 years ago, we are 80% down now than we were 10 years ago in the amount coming out of the ground. It's getting incredibly, incredibly, incredibly rare. Now, you can get it from us here because we are one of the largest sources of genuine gemstones in the world. These are smaller pieces. But because Steve, one of the owners of the channel, will have bought directly from the mines, and this has come directly from those mines. This is directly from the mines. We've taken it to our own workshops in, um, in Jaipur in India. The chances are he's gone to those mines and uh, the four that are still in operation, got the bigger pieces, and in getting the bigger pieces, been able to get the smaller pieces as well um, at a really good deal because he's bought the big pieces to be set in 24 carat, 18 carat gold for Gems TV, for Rocks TV, for The Lounge, um, which are our sister channels, all in the same building. And in doing that, he's been able to get a really good deal on the smaller pieces. These are not the, t uh, the size of piece that you typically expect to be set in gold for Savarite. You'd expect slightly bigger. The great thing is we, as jewellery makers, want this size. You, can you imagine this with Sutash? Can you imagine this with the gold wire that we had earlier? How are we doing on stock levels, Kim? Okay, over half the stock's gone. Okay. Now, this is a 25 carat strand. Every single one is perfectly colour matched and every single one has been drilled. This is incredibly, incredibly rare for us to get. It is so exciting. If you want to find out a little bit more about it, um, because it does come from this incredible group, you can go on, the best thing to do is to go on zavarite.com. And there you can find out all the information that I've just told you and a lot more as well, because obviously I've got um, a, a limited amount of time I can tell you about this, but it is, it is, it's a fascinating gemstone. Now, what I want to really tell you about as well is the fact that what we're about to do in price is because of the buying power. If Steve hadn't have gone and bought the big pieces alongside it as well and done a massive deal, there's no way in the world you could get a price anywhere near this for the carrot weight you're getting. I want to just let you know this is not indicative of worth or value. This is because of the buying power of the company. Now, not many people get the chance to buy from that mine. We get the chance to buy from the mine because Steve is known worldwide as one of the most in-demand well, 
he's known as one of the largest sourcer of genuine gemstones in the world. He is one of the owners of the Genuine Gemstone Company. So because of the credentials, because of who you're buying from, you're going to get access to the gemstone, first of all, and because of the way that it's been bought, alongside some of the really, really big pieces. Because very few people, I'll be really honest with you, very few people would go to those mines to go and source this size of gemstone. They don't, they, the mine owners want the big spenders for big gemstones to come in. So very few people even get access to get to this size of Zavarite anyway. That's perfect for us, it's perfect. So you're in an elite crowd, which is why we had so few of these to begin with. How much do you expect it to be then? 80, 60? Now it's on a firm to come first serve basis. As far as I'm aware, we're not due any more in. Is there any more available on the website? Shana Nuggets, that's it. I am, as far as I'm aware, we're not due any more in in our next shipment, which our shipments usually happen about every three months. Okay? P-U-Y, Y-5-6, are you going to do it? We could make money off this strand, or we could do this. I know, I know, I know. Um, it will sell out, obviously, in the next few minutes. Remember, this is going to sparkle more than emeralds. It's a thousand times rarer than an emerald. And because, because the chances are you, and I don't want to be patronising, but have you ever heard of it before? Doesn't that tell you something about the rarity? Have you seen one strand before on Jewelmaker? I've not seen a strand on Jewelmaker before. No, never. Never. Uh, I'm going to hold it up to my neckline for you. They are amazing. They're absolutely amazing. And the great thing is you've got a first day money back guarantee as well. So if you get it at home and you don't fall in love with it, you can always send it back. It's amazing, isn't it? Oh, and by the way, the colour. Just confirming something. I'm just, I'm on tenterhooks for something here. Totally natural. Whew, just confirming, yeah, it is completely, totally natural. Very, very, very little is usually done to Savarite. It That is why it's so in demand. Because usually what would happen is a gemstone is put into at least incredibly high temperatures to draw out the colour. No, look at it. Thank you, Mother Nature. Can you imagine going into the ground and finding this? amazing amazing that is so it is so rare that price is literally because we've been able to get an amazing deal on it i know i know we could have easily put a price tag much much higher on that easy peasy zavarite garnet so i really would recommend the website zavarite.com spelled t-s-a-v-o-r-i-t-a i-t-e sorry uh, so exactly as it says there zavarite.com it's amazing uh, absolutely amazing gemstone and you'll probably you'll see a picture of Campbell R. Bridges on there, who was just so lovely. So, so lovely. Can I just, I know, I know we're moving on, but can I just show you this? Look what you've just, look what you've just bought. Look. Look at that sparkle. Look! Look at those. Mikey, have you ever come across that right garnet before? Only once. And it's gorgeous. Garnet's my birthstone. I didn't know until I worked here that it was a green version of it. Mm. And I think it's absolutely stunning. It is extraordinary, it. isn't it? Mm. That's a nice thing as well. So if you're not a fan of red gemstones and you know that, and it is your birthstone, January's birthstone, go for that one. So 19.95. Amazing. Okay, we're going to do an amazing finest pack now. Can I just do this? You were so beautiful. Oh, I need my glasses on. That went really triple vision then. That's attractive. Oh, yeah. Tasty. Have I actually just said tasty about some findings? Ugh. Okay, just because this is the way my brain works, I get really excited that they're all in their individual, their individual uh, little boxes here. Oh no! We haven't got that many! What's going on? Mike, you're so funny. Why? 
I just said, I get really excited they were in the individual boxes and Mike went, yeah. <laughs> they were thinking, realised he was doing it. Okay, let's start this end. 2,400. Now, the a lot of them are going to be due to these. How many times do we talk about just a little space bead or just pop a little space bead in there? Or you can just little pop, literally pop a little space bead in there. Look at these. Now, this is something you don't want to drop on the floor. Can I tell you a little trick, though? If you do drop li those little beads on the floor, you know your vacuum cleaner nozzle? Stick a stocking over the end of it and hoover up like that, and all the beads will stick to the stocking. Great for crimp beads and great because you, you, that's a disaster waiting to happen <laughs> in my house with a 16 month wanting to get his hands on everything. Fab, 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 fab. Okay, so. Yeah. <laughs> I'm such a geek. <laughs> oh, I'm in my own little party. My own little world. Okay, shepherd hooks. You can never have too many, let's face it. So you're going to be looking at about, you know, those silver little beads. Yeah, how many? 2,100. About 2,100. Amazing. Okay, now then. 60 shepherd hooks. 60. They're fab, 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 fab. And I just get a real kick. Do you know what? These are already going once again. I would say, um, I, I get a kick out of seeing that. <laughs> Do you? I get a real kick out of seeing that cluster. Now, I have to warn you, we haven't got, they're going on a huge, huge, huge offer. So I've got to warn you, you're going to have to be quick off the mark on this. Now, these are really fab. These are the ones I was referring to earlier. If you love stamping, you can really personalise your jewellery with these. Oh, that's a bit tangled up. Let me get another one. Okay. So, how many of you got the stamps? You could put a little star, you could put a little heart on the stamp. You've then got the S clasp, and then you've got the piece of chain. The, uh, as much as that is lovely, that it comes all together... They also work brilliantly, all cut up. So you've got the ribbon cord ends that you can use against the kumihimo. Then you've got jump rings, and you've got chain, and you've got S cups as well. So it's a whole completed piece, very useful, but actually incredibly useful, cut up and used as the individual components. And you're going to be getting eight of those. Now, jump rings. How many of you are desperate for chainmail jump rings? We had a lady earlier saying that she'd just used 2,000 on a piece. Um, you're going to be getting 200. And they are open jump rings. Let me just see if they're saw cut. Yes, they are. They're saw cut. So that means that they are going to fit flush back together again. So they're perfect for, um, for chain mail. They are five millimeter, these jump rings. And you're going to get 200 of them. Right, I've got to warn you, way over a quarter of the stock has gone. Um, then you have also got... Now, these are going to be brilliant. Cufflinks. You've got part for a cufflink here. You can also use it. So you don't have to use it as a toggle clasp. They're beautiful, aren't they? They're really beautifully made. You don't have to use this as a toggle clasp, but obviously it is a toggle clasp. So you just get your uh, flat nose pliers, open it up, release the other part, and you've got a toggle clasp ready and raring to go. Or you can use this part as a cufflink. These are lovely as frames for polymer clay because you can put this in the oven and you are going to be getting 30 of those. Now then, how about this? How much of this are we getting? There's more than a metre here, and there's more than a metre on the picture. Look, 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 look. It's guaranteed to get a metre. It says you're going to get a metre. I, I, you could get more. Because in my opinion here, this is three metres. <laughs> in fact, it is three metres. It's saying you're going to get a metre. I think you're going to get more. But hey, you know you're definitely getting a metre. Any more might be a bonus. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that lovely? Hang on, uh, 2,300, 
2,398. You get, you're gonna get, you're gonna get three lots of that. Yeah. Two, two lots it should be. Yeah, you're gonna get two lots of that. Sorry folks, you're gonna get two meters. Mm. Well, it's actually in the details you're gonna get one, but if you're gonna get two, happy days. I'll see AZ50, right. Quite honestly, you need findings in your life. The best time to buy findings is when they're on a ridiculous offer. Now, 2,400 findings. Are you gonna use them? Yes! Whenever do you get the chance to own that many findings? Okay, so a huge bulk of that are your little dinky beads. But when you buy those dinky beads, how many do you usually buy at a time? 100 at a time, how much are they? Um, with the little dinky beads, they're about two millimetres each. I've just had a question. What size are they? Two millimetres each. Free phone number 0800 644 655. They are absolutely amazing. Um, so you've got jump rings, 200 five mil jump rings, 2,100 beads. Um, you've got 60 of the shepherd hooks. You've got eight of the ribbon cord ends. You've got 200 of the saw cut jump rings. You've got 60, uh, sorry, no, uh, I've just lied. Of the, you've got 30 of the toggle clasps. Do you know why I can't suddenly see why, how many toggle clasps you get? Because a fly has just landed on my screen right at the top. That's it's just, oh no, it wasn't. I thought it was a fly, but in fact it was the little cursor off the computer that Kim's using in the next room and it was on top of that, so... Oh dear. And then you've got the, all the little tubs as well. Right, do you know what? Let's do the price. What sort of price are you thinking, Kim? Less than, uh, less than, less than 30 pounds. For 2,400 findings, good luck everybody. A big sash bill, a 25.95, one post and packaging price all day. How much would you pay elsewhere for 60 shepherd hooks? It really gets it in perspective at 25.95, 0800 Amazing, 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 amazing. 25.95, how are we doing on stock levels, Kim? Oh, is that it? And how many people have sat with them in baskets? I've only got 20 left. Eight people have got it in baskets, which means if everybody checks out, we've only got 12. Eight people have now called in. So we've got four. Okay, we've now got more people on the phone lines and with it in the baskets than we have stock available. Check out your baskets now. Press your option one on the phone lines now. It's gonna be a race to the end. First come, first serve basis. Have we got any of the Savarite garnet left? Okay, just a couple. So if you haven't yet got the Savarite garnet, go for it. Oh, wait, hundred six double four six double five. Oh, good luck on that. Whopping deal, isn't it? Right, let's do this because I am literally. It makes me salivate. It's attractive, isn't it? Oh, dribble. Thank you. Who said that? Kim, you're so attractive. Makes me salivate. Dribble, what you just said. Oh dear. Now these are gorgeous. Don't they look a little bit like amber? I love them. Gorgeous colours. They'd look amazing with that last sari ribbon in the last kit, actually, wouldn't they? Oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Okay, folks, 155 carats. They are the most beautiful quartz. Okay, so yesterday, 
I had a very in-depth conversation with our resident in-house gemologist and she's also an amazing designer, Hannah Oxbury. And I asked her about this whole coating thing because I just wanted to be very clear in what we're offering here. And basically, I am very aware that the coating doesn't come off. And I wanted to know, right, well, why, why have we got this coating on there? Why have we bothered? Does it say anything about the quality of the gemstone? Here's the deal. The gemstone is fab. And the gemstone, chances are, it's gone through a heat treatment to draw out the colour. When you're seeing coated, that's an additional coating that gives it this mystic quality. So the mystic, the quality, the coating isn't the colour of it. The coating, so the colour of the gemstone is orange and the coating is that mystic play of light. Now that mystic play of light coating is actually a type of metal that adheres to the surface layer of the gemstone. How cool is that? How cool is that? Now it makes sense to me. Because I was like, why would we get a really good quality gemstone and then paint it? I didn't get it. But we are looking at a great quality coloured gemstone. So that gemstone, chances are it's probably gone through a heat treatment. But the coating is literally to give it that mystic quality. So really, it should be mystic orange quartz. It shouldn't actually, that's actually inconsistent terminology for our company. This is mystic orange quartz. But it has gone through a coating of a metal that adheres to the surface layer of the gemstone. It completely did, so it's not going to come off. Um, and it's amazing. It is absolutely amazing. Now we get huge compliments for the quality of the gemstones that we have here, and particularly for the Mystic as well. It's lovely, isn't it? There's something really, really lovely and sunshine about it. I'd like to do lots of flowers with this, I think. And I think because of that coating as well, you can definitely use a variety of your different metals with it. It's going to look great with the yellow gold. It's going to look great with rose gold. It's going to look great with silver. Kim, what's your worst price on it? Ha! Uh, being your best price, being do your worst. Uh, we're going to do it for seven ninety five on a first come first serve basis. Free phone number oh eight hundred six triple four six double five. Kimbo is in the hot seat. She's back. They're lovely, aren't they? Maggie, what do you think of that colour? I love them. I've got really into orange this year for some reason. I really mm. like orange stuff, and I think that's a really nice example. I think it's a great pop and a great sort of, sort of mm. emphasis, highlight of colour. Mm. They look great. You could just put them with little gold beads in between. You've got a necklace, haven't you? Yeah, absolutely. Mm. Or actually, if you've got the findings pack we've just done, um, which have all of the little silver beads in between, silver's going to equally look as fabulous with them because mm. of the different, because that mystic quality. It's going to be fab. Literally, bead, bead. <laughs> big bead, little bead, big bead, little bead. Or maybe you do get one of the sari threads and you simply knot in between each bead. So it's seven pounds and ninety five pence. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. The code is HZGP one five. It's seven ninety five. They're lovely, aren't they? Gorgeous. A hundred and fifty five carats. Mm. Loving those. Okay. Are we gonna do? We're going to do these now. I was just about to give a heads up on these. Let me show you these with the silver toggle clasp we did earlier. Yeah, screaming to be used with silver. Again, think about those little silver beads, silver colour beads in the uh, previous ones. So we've got both of these strands. Should we do the, we're doing the And um, what are you doing, Cleary? Can we just have a look? I just turn around and Cleary is doing, otherwise known as Jenny, a kettle dance. How do you follow that? How do you follow that? Love that girl. Right. Dearie me, she's wearing a particularly short skirt. I'm hoping you were careful with your angle that you got there, Mike. Right then, these are trapezoids. Wouldn't they make amazing flowers? 
Now, if you are new to us here at Jewelry Maker, the warmest of welcome. I get this ready for the summer. They have gone through a dyeing treatment, which is the D at the bottom of the screen. 120 carats. Now, this is Brazilian quartz. What do I always say about the quartz? We get fab quartz from Brazil. It's my personal favourite. The reason being is you get that amazing clarity. Now, you have got the delicate inclusions in here, which means the colour has really clung onto them and oh, they just dazzle. So, you've got the crackle quartz and it's a quenched crackle quartz. It's a blue quenched crackled quartz. Should I say that quickly? The trapezoids are measuring 12 by 8 millimeters each. Now they're really lovely if you just wire wrap the top of them as well and make delicate little dangly pendants. I'm going to hold these up to the neckline. I'm feeling particularly drab in my grey when I wear these. Don't they look lovely? Don't they look lovely? So what would you put in between them? Actually, do you know what? They look really lovely with just with those little um, clear spaces. Let me find out what those clear spaces are. Yeah, it's little tubes of plastic in between. Aren't they? Oh yeah, everybody is in the sil in the um, in the sunshine mood. Summery, summery, summery. And at the same time, you could actually save these for next for the next cold day you have <laughs> tomorrow maybe, um, and do quite an icicle look with them. Blue's very in for bridesmaids as well this year. Susan, Carol, Jean and Lindsay, Marina, Peter, lots of anonymous people there. Anna and Lizzie and Maria and Sheila and Shirley and Anne and Margaret and Maureen and Trudy and Sue and Pat and lots of new people again. Lots of anonymous people, lots of new people. Sandy and Vicky, Catherine and Christine, Glenda and Kathleen. Free phone number 0800 644 655. Seven ninety five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. They're real gemstones. Twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty, thirty one. You see, when I see a prize like that, it takes me back to when I used to go to local bead shops and buy plastic beads. I couldn't get this type of look in plastic for that price. Seven ninety five. They're gorgeous. The way that they. Um, the light has taken them. We're going to do the heart version next, and these are really, really popular. Hearts are always our most popular cut, so be prepared to have to call early for the hearts in just a moment. The code, once again, is FCGP55. They're lovely, aren't they? They're really, really vibrant. Got lots of scope because of the shape of them to do lots of different designs and styles. 120 carats. You're good to go on that one. Love them. Really love them. FCGP85. What, what are you doing now? I was being really quiet, she's saying. Come and say hello. Could your handbag be uh, any more fabulous? Hello, 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 hello. Uh, I trotted in these heels. I would have absolutely loved it if you'd have fallen over. <laughs> Love you. Love you too, darling. And that is your designer inspiration presenter. Giselle's <laughs> not case. You're right, darling. Are you gonna give me a heads up about what's coming up on your show a little later? In two words, Gemma Crow. Done. Okay, <laughs> these are blue crackle quartz. They're beautiful puffy hearts. Now again, I know I was just saying the flower designs and flower style and techniques with the trapezoids, but you can make the most beautiful flowers out of these gorgeous little hearts. Again, really, really, really beautiful colours. They're so pretty, aren't they? Just, I mean, you can do the simplest of things with these. Just literally put it on a ball head pin with a shepherd's hook. You need to do very little to make these really lovely. A hundred and forty carats. They're exquisite. They're absolutely exquisite the most lovely blue sky blue vibrant blue 140 carats and the code is vwgp 
zero. Seven pounds and 95 pence with a crash bang and a wallop, your prize is in. Boom. That would be Amelia destroying the set. Seven ninety, aren't they lovely? Oh, think about it. if you got that first kit and it had the white quartz, the clear quartz in it. These would be beautiful with the white quartz. They'd be lovely. One hundred and forty carats. I'm actually thinking with the poppy quartz as well that we had in the um, in the second kit. They'd be really pretty. Sort of going along the whole blue and the pink theme that we touched upon with Hannah yesterday in the show. Free phone number 0800 644 655 795 on these. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. I'm sorry if I'm turning into a bit of a, uh, it's, uh, it's afternoon. My, it's all kicking in. Just a big walking germ. Mike feels the same. Do you just feel a bit, I'm tired. No tired. Yeah. yeah. Shall we move on? Which one next, sorry, lovely? Oh. Oh, this is beautiful. Oh, Maggie, look at this. I just you know every time I say your name, I have to stop myself from launching into Maggie May. <laughs> <gasps> Isn't that classy? That's lovely. Beautiful kit. What are the kind of flat, puffy ones? These ones? Yeah. They're an agate. And they're agate squares. They're 14 millimeter agate squares. Aren't they stunning? Mm. Then you've got this beautiful, it's classified as a grey. It's like a deep silver, isn't it? Those beautiful pearls. But this, this is a green amethyst. Isn't it beautiful? I love green amethyst, yes. Isn't that delicate and sparkly? I can see it sparkling from over here. Um, I think I think we need. What price are you thinking, Kim? What price is it, hun? Oh. Well, okay. Let's have a look at this strand alone first of all. We don't have many of this at all. This strand um, has been taken again directly from the mines in Brazil, the gem zone, directly to our workshops in Jaipur in India to bring this strand to you. They are. They're sort of irregular, it's referred to as a regular bicone shape, okay? I think they sparkle so beautifully. They go from a three by one up to a five by two. Let's get this deal in perspective. Do you think 14.95 would be a good price for this amethyst strand? Yeah? So let's say that 14.95 would be a great price for this amethyst, green amethyst strand. And it is a beautiful, delicate, subtle, really sparkly, incredibly clear amethyst that you know is gonna make, oh, can you imagine this in tiara, using the tiara technique, the tiara technique, the silver wire on the neckline would be beautiful. 50 carats, full 30 centimeter strand. We are about to do something for the first 30 people to call in or confirm on the website. That is it. Oh, how many left? Well, there's only 20 left. Oh my goodness, okay. How about we bring into the mix those gorgeous pearls, which are approximately a nine by eight, so they're not small. These amazing, beautiful squares of the agate. Free phone number 0800 644 Did we say 14.95 would be good for the amethyst? Look at the price for the whole lot. Including pearls. I know. That's amazing. It's amazing. Because you couldn't get any of those shunts for less than five pounds each, could you? Amazing. Do you know what? If everyone checks out who's putting their, this in their basket right now, that is gone. So again, this is a little bit of a please make sure you are checking out your baskets or somebody on the telephone line is going to have it out your basket. You need to make it a first purchase, first serve basis. Okay, let's go to our next bundle. <gasps> oh, we've had loads of requests for this one. And it's, <gasps> ah, it's pardon. This is ridiculous value for money. Look at these peridot play rounds, yeah, 30 centimeters. Beautiful, now did you know the peridot is an um, August birthstone? And it's also, the luckiest gemstone in the gem zodiac.
this is called pretty springtime it really has got a springtime feel to it now look at these this is pre-night pre-night is the most amazing gemstone for giving you this incredible glow and then you've got these gorgeous rutiles going through now there's some big chunky pre-nights going on here then oh you've got those amazing pre-night long nuggets they go from a nine by four up to an impressive 20 by eight millimeters they are absolutely stunning and it's great to be able to see these variety of different sizes and shapes but along a similar uh, color palette so you've got two of exactly the same um gemstone which is pre-night sorry i've got sneeze coming i'm slightly distracted and then a strand of peridot Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Oh eight hundred six double four six double five. Let's do it. Twelve pounds. Twelve pounds. It works out four pounds a strand. Four pounds for that size pre night. And I love, I love the fact that we are approaching springtime Easter jewellery. What sort of Easter inspired looks are you going to go for at the moment? Do you think, I'm, I, I have got an honest question here, because I like to decorate my house for Easter. Do you think it's too early? Mm, possibly. I'm on tenterhooks. When do you think I can do it? I don't know. Maybe I'll say about a week before. No. About something really mean on my part. Yeah. When do you when do you put your Christmas tree up? Oh, usually on Christmas Eve if I can get away with it. <laughs> okay, I'm no, you're not the right person to ask. So I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I put mine on the first of December. <laughs> When, when's too early to decorate my house for Easter? Because I've got Easter bunting. It's because I've got a little boy. Uh, Easter bunting and then I have my Easter tree. And um, when do you think it's too early? Easter. For Easter. Whenever's best for the person, I would say. Whenever's best for the person. I love Mike. He's so diplomatic. Good answer. Christmas, you wait for the start of December. So maybe I could decorate on my birthday. Somebody who just whispered when's Sorry, your birthday? Sorry, when's your birthday? <laughs> I thought when's your birthday? Uh, first of April. Oh, right. I share it with Philip Schofield oh. and Chris Evans. <laughs> How old? 22. <laughs> and there's an April fool right there. Who said that? You are so rude. Okay, I'm going to be 23. I'm going to be... Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, a bit older than that, a bit old, just a bit. I got asked the other day if I was in my twenties. <gasps> in my dreams, I was like, have you seen this forehead? Have you seen these? My crow's feet. Um, <laughs> we've still got a few of these remaining. I'm literally just gas bagging because we are waiting for. Uh, oh, someone texts in, Lucy. It's never too early to decorate for Easter. Carol, thank you. <laughs> I might decorate today. I might just do it. Is the weather nice out there, do we know? Apparently it's getting worse throughout the day. Lovely. I would like a nice big spring clean and fill my house with tulips. Can't put daffodils in because my husband's developed an allergy. How rude. Um, so yes, I'd like to spring clean and then put up my Easter bunting and I've got a wishing, I've got one of these trees that's it's not like a Christmas tree tree. It's like a white sprayed tree and I've made some for my crafting days paper mache little eggs to dangle from it and some little bunnies and things and then I've got some glass bowls that I put little Easter eggs in for people to come around and have little like mini chocolates those egg versions you know what I mean I love Easter and then I've got my godchildren coming around for an Easter egg hunt in the garden please don't rain mm. and then what's really exciting is Easter Monday you know what I'm doing me and Kenny G like that come on Kenny G in concert I'm so excited you, do you know who he is? Yes, I do, but don't ask me to sing any of his songs. Well, that's because you'd be playing the saxophone if you were singing his songs. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> Maybe I don't know who he is then. <laughs> what, what's his most famous um, piece of work then? Uh, quite a lot. Songbird. Right. Um, he's done a bit of sort of... He, um, I've got him on my phone. We'll play it later. Okay. 
You'll, it'll change your life. Twelve pounds, twelve pounds. Thank you so much for staying with me because I do, I feel really bad. I feel like I've been talking more gibberish than usual because I'm feeling a bit... Uh, right, have we still got some of the seven strand bundle left? The seven strand bundle. <laughs> How many did we start with? Oh dear. Okay, um, that's for the quantity remaining. Oh. Uh, okay, amazing yellow opal. Fabulous, fabulous, fabulous agate. Uh, sorry, if I just said agate, uh, jasper. Opal and jasper. See, there's something really sort of eastery about these. Maybe with the pre-night that we've just done, it was gorgeous. In fact, you get pre-night within here. So, um, pre-night long nuggets again. So, with your um, pre-night long nuggets, are a nine by four up to a twenty by eight. With the yellow opal nuggets, they're an eight by six up to a twenty by six. And then also get that amazing black obsidian, which are faceted round four mils. Then you get the most gorgeous labradorite. Now, don't necessarily look at this as a way to use it all together. You buy this together to get the saving. Then you have got that most fabulous. Just bear with me a second. What's the carrot weight on that? Uh, sorry, 220 carats, cool. Uh, there are three by two up to a 10 by five on the 85 centimeter strand of Moonstone. And then I love that Howlite. I would literally just pearl knot it in between. Howlite looks amazing as well. Um, sorry, Magnesite. I think I might have said Howlite earlier as well. I do apologize, I take that back. It is Magnesite. They do look incredibly similar. Over 1,200 carats of genuine gemstones. And this magnesite is amazing because it's all completely faceted by hand. 0800, 6 trouble 4, 6 double 5. Let's get the price in. <laughs> 16 95 oh, wait, 100, 6 double 4 6 double 5 It works out at the most amazing price. It works out at £2.42 a strand. On an average, obviously, <laughs> opal, where could you even just get the opals for anywhere near that price, just for them by themselves? They're, they're just fab. It's 16.95. Now, I have got some of the Kumihimo bundle remaining. So 16.95, um, have they almost gone? almost gone so um if you haven't yet got that there's just a couple of those remaining now we have still got some of this bundle left you really do need to get it because it's a must-have purchase we are going to be going over and of course seeing how maggie's done with her random challenge today <laughs> i would try and like it smells lovely um Okay, so this is real suede. It's, uh, you get a metre of each colour. So you get black, brown, cream, dark blue, forest green, green, light blue, light grey, light purple, lilac, orange, pink, purple, red, silver, stone, tan, turquoise, white and yellow. And you're also going to be getting your mini Kumi Hemo disc. Now it would usually be just over £14. And honestly, even if you've already bought one of these today, get another one, get a couple. Because it's even great value for money just for the suede. You're paying less just for the suede. And of course you get the disc as well. 8 95 it's usually £9.90 just for the suede. So even if you're not needing another Kumihimo disc, but really, as Maggie was saying earlier, you can't have too many of them because it means you're going to have lots of projects on the go at the same time. Because when you take them off, if you don't mark that up the cards individually, then you're getting a bit of a, a bit of a fankle with them. A fankle? Sorry, fankle. I keep on saying fankle, no one understands it. And what a does bit that of a mean? muddle. They get all I mixed up with word. each other. I might have to embrace that word and use it in my life. Yeah, I don't know how you spell it. Okay, it's cool though. <laughs> I think it's cool. Uh, £8.95. pence. Yeah, definitely. So Brilliant. I mean, you just can't go wrong at that price, can you? With all that, no, because you couldn't that... even get the suede for that usually. Mm. And today you're getting the disc as well. Free phone number 0800. Six trouble four, six double five. That has now almost gone. 
Okay, the other special, special, special thing that we have back by popular demand today was the wire twisting tool. Okay, now the wire twisting tool, okay, is here. We've got, please start dialing for it now. We're also, whilst the graphics are on screen, we're also going to show you this quick trip, um, this quick clip. Thank you. Ooh. Need to go for a lie down um, about how to do it, how you can use it. This is the wire twister tool. To open the tool, you just gently squeeze the handles together and it will release the pliers here. And then you need to take two pieces of wire in your desired gauge. Um, I'm using two pieces of 0.6 millimeter. Um, I would say you can probably go up to a 0.8 millimeter. Uh, anything more than that will be quite difficult and then you need to secure these either to a nail or a door frame, like door handle, um, or if you've got a vise that would work brilliantly. And then you take the other end of your wires and clamp them into the jaws of the tool. And then give this a really good squeeze and slide the centre piece back so that it clamps the handles together. Then you gently step backwards and then Take hold of the end cap and let go of the main tool itself and just gently pull back and then swap. So you hold the tool, let go of the end cap and then again repeat and you will see the wire start to turn, twisting together. When your wires are twisted sufficiently, all you need to do to release the tool is gently squeeze the handles together and it will release the pliers. And there's your twisted wire. And it really is as simple as that. And the great thing is, if you've got all of your different gauge wires and you need a thicker gauge, you can match them together and it's like working with a thicker gauge. But also, it just gives you a very different look. I think it opens up your jewellery making um, quite a lot because I love making talks. It's my thing I'm loving to do. I would recommend actually, if you are gonna make a talk, to get the wire, um, the, uh, oh. I've lost, I've lost every train of thought I can possibly master today. Finishing off the tool. It stops the ends being sharp. The burring tool, thank you. <laughs> Kim was just saying, that was the worst game of charades I've ever seen. It wasn't a game of charades, I was talking. And going like that. <laughs> doing that, you know, doing that. Right. Oh, excuse me. Okay, we also have stock of this fabulous bag remaining. Kirsty, your producer for the mid show is in here, I know. How many of these have you got now, Kirsty? How many of those? Yeah. Three. How many of those? Three. And I could do some more. And you could do some more. Yeah. I don't know any of our designers who haven't fallen in love with this because it is just so, so, so versatile. It makes sense. Somebody's just texted, Bernadette, I just love the show. As a result, I have no housework done yet today. You are a rain of sunshine on this rainy day, Bernadette. I could actually have a little cry about that. In fact, my eyes are actually welling up. Bernadette, that's so lovely. Thank you so much, because usually you only get to hear about the haters. <laughs> Bernadette, that's so lovely. Thank you. We're having a really good day, aren't we, Maggie? Yes, we are. That's a really nice comment from I've Bernadette. I've had to it? sort of kick her under the table to agree with me now. The fact that she's like four metres away. <laughs> <laughs> no, we are. We're having a great. Thank you so much, and I'm really glad you're enjoying it. Job done. Yes. Um, I really would recommend this bag and taking advantage again of the one person packaging that isn't done on size, it's not done on weight. The fact that you've got pouches either side, honestly, you can get so much more than you first think into this bag. It's a bit of an illusion bag from that point of view. Because you can get, like I said before, Linda very quickly realised you can get four bottles of wine in it. Does that surprise you? No. Now, I am seeing washing up liquid, I'm seeing rolling pins, I'm seeing trays, and I'm feeling a little bit of wet felting coming on. 
and I'm seeing a manky old stocking as well. Thank you for that, Gemma Crow. Lovely, darling. That was lovely. That was elegant. She just went with this old stocking. Stay tuned because the Designer Inspiration Show is, of course, coming up now. This bag, 22 by 19 centimetres, 17.95. It's really great, great, great value for money. It's fab value for money. I, I don't agree with that measurement. It's not, that measurement's wrong. It's bigger than that. I measured it by a gemstone strand. But that's a, thir look, that's a 38 centimetre strand. Is it 22 to there? Okay. So it's 22 to that point. But then obviously you've got that and that's an important part because if you've got, for example, your chasing hammer, that's gonna sit more proud than the 22 centimeters. So free phone number 0800 644 And that's just ace for keeping your packed luncheon as well. 1795, right, we're going to go over to see Maggie and see what she's been up to. So we set Maggie a different type of challenge today because we literally just gave her toggle clasps and we gave her rose gold plated toggle clasps and it's all 95 sterling silver we gave her rose gold yellow gold and pure silver let's go over and have a look now maggie you had access we said we've got the bee scoops outside you can have whatever you want yes what did you decide to get i went for a scoop of the black and white for mono monochrome look no and i went for a scoop of the pinks the mixed pinks where to start let's start with these Right, those are little gorgeous cufflinks. Little cufflinks. So I found two stones that just sat inside, so it's working like a little frame. I love those. Really unisex, actually. Yep, they'd be great in a women's, women's white shirt as well. Yeah, they? really look. See, nineteen ninety-five. It would usually be thirty pounds and thirty-five pence for um, all nine sets. But it's 19.95, usually 30 pounds and 35 pence. Now that's a pair of very black and white earrings. I love very them. Very deliberately black on one side and white on the other. So it's Fab. using a similar technique, except the gemstones are actually hanging loose. So not sort of, they're not sort of um, woven in. So oh yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're on head pins. They're so head that's pins. using again. That's using the frame of the of the toggle clasp the actual um the actual round, the yeah. actual round part mm -hmm. itself these are great <laughs> these are really great now lovely to use it as a design feature especially because it's 925 sterling silver with a nine carat rose gold overlay in this instance that's really lovely design feature fab continuing on how cool is this so I was trying to think of something a bit different to do with the toggle bars. I've actually got quite a number of the toggle bars left. So I was trying to think of something a bit different to do with it. And if you use beading thread and crimp it up to close to the toggle bar, it's not going to come off the end. Right. So you can use it as a kind of horizontal sort of tassel hole. Because almost. at the end of the toggle bar, it's got it's like got these little, little stoppers. Sort of, exactly, yes. That's fab. And then something that I talk about a lot with our findings, to use it as part of the design because they're lovely. Look, have it at the front of the design. That's a great idea to have the chain there as well because then it stops it from turning round. It does actually, yes. And I, I could have put some beads on the end of the chain. I've only just thought of that now this minute. But that they're could have fab. been done as well. Yeah. Now all of this will be posted on our Facebook page and of course on our website as well on jewelrymaker.com. Now jewelrymaker.com is where you need to go in order to continue to watch the show. If you're watching on Freeview, that's where you need to go. If you're watching on any other channel facility, don't worry, stay exactly where you are. Because coming up next, it is Gemma Crow. You're going to be looking at so many different techniques, but I can see wet felting will be a big part. Maggie, you've been fabulous. Thank Lovely you so much. Lovely to work with you. It's yes. been great. Thank you, Lucy. I will see you on Sunday for Cake at 11. Don't go anywhere. Jenny next. If you have a question or query for Jewelry Maker, then you can contact our call centre on 0800 644 655 and press option 2. Or alternatively, you can email help at jewelrymaker.com.
again.